Hello, gamers. I was taking a shit. Can I take a shit? Am I allowed to chat? Am I allowed to take a fucking dump? Am I allowed to go up? I just have a little dump dump. I think I deserve a little dumb dumb once in a while. I don't know about y'all. Dusk, unmute your mic! Dusk! Dusk! Unmute the mic! Or we riot! I'm quiet? No fucking way I'm quiet. Nuh-uh. Am I quiet or is the game loud? The game's just loud, right? Why do I sound far away? What the? I, I am right up against the microphone. What do you mean I sound far? I'm like literally eating it. I think the music is just too loud. I'm gonna lower the game a little bit. I, lo I lowered it a little bit. How, how, how are we now? Are we good? Is it good now? I can't believe we're picking two men. This game is easy compared to the first one. All right, can y'all hear me now though? I need to make sure I'm here. I'm, I'm hearable. Can y'all hear me now? Are we good? Is the audio good? Am I audible? Speaking of audible, today's sponsor is Audible. My mic is very quiet. I literally did nothing to my mic. Sounds fine to me, dot dot dot. Daughter, why are you doing the roleplay, dot dot dot? Erm, Dusk, you said my name wrong, dot dot dot. Let's go, video sponsor. Nah, no video sponsor. Not unless it's, uh, fucking Baja Blast. Aw, I wanted a Rage Shadow Legends ad. 
They're still saying I sound a little quiet. Are y'all good? Can y'all consider fucking turning up your ears? Okay, I made the game a little bit lower. I'm at full volume here. I'm, I'm at the max volume I could possibly be at. This is as loud as it always is for me. So, uh, I do not know. I am playing the GameCube version, Trans. I'm always going to be playing the GameCube version of these games. As much as I like Switch ports, uh, I tend to prefer the GameCube ones. This is better now? I'm good. So I'm good now? Now it sounds good? You Now y'all hear me? We all good now? These piping were just too loud? Y'all can hear me? Alright, cool. Apparently I sound better now. Well, welcome in gamers. How are we all doing today? Welcome in. We're going to do a casual Pikmin 2 stream today. No challenges. We're just going to start a new game and we're going to do a casual run. And it's going to be a fun time had by all. If y'all are unfamiliar with Pikmin, uh, skill issues. Maybe consider playing good games. Uh, real quick, I need to fix my screen size. I got these weird bars. Should fix it for you guys. Yeah, there we go. One day I'll get a GameCube and start gaming like a true man. Boy, yo, just emulate them, man. You got a computer, right? I meant versus the uh, Wii version. Oh, got you, trans. No, this is going to be the GameCube version. Yeah, this is the GameCube version. Sorry, I thought you were talking about the Switch port because it's the recent one, so people are always talking about that one. Uh, real quick, let me just, uh, get my blanket. Okay, sorry, y'all. I'm gonna get a blanket on because I get the ick from this controller. Daughter gave me the broken Dollar General blankets. So I can wear it like a poncho. I I really hope you beat King D today. Uh, Caesar, wrong challenge. One does not casually play pick. Watch. Me. <laughs> All right, ready to go. Get the game going. We'll start a brand new file and play the game for the first time all over again. What's up, Fire Lord Frill? How are we doing? What up, Twitch chat? Una, Dragoon, Fire Lord, Eric, Eric, Vintage Seltzer, Stinky. Welcome. And then, of course, we got everybody over on YouTube chat. Caesar, Boyo, Score Buns, Quinn, DC, Trans, Felix, C Was. How are we all doing, y'all? Hope we're all doing good today. I'm ready to play some uh, Pikmin 2. The best Pikmin. I think it's my favorite one. I do a lot more Pikmin 1. Um, but I do like Pikmin 2 a lot. I think it is my favorite one. I do remember the Pikmin tacos yesterday. I do. I saw the pictures y'all put on Discord. I thought they were very funny. I forgot there's a Discord. Yeah, I don't use Discord all that all that much, to be perfectly honest. I've been trying out Gilded these past couple days. I'm, I'm kind of thinking I want to use Gilded, but I need to test it out first before making a decision. I do gotta start doing uh start doing some stuff on Discord. Dude, I love how they talk. They talk so goofy in this. <laughs> the way he eats them. Oh, 
I don't have Discord, so I don't know what, what that is. Well, consider making it. It's free. How are you on the internet and you don't use Discord? Like, I know it's cringe. Like, all social media is now, like, five companies, but... Yeah, the Twitch and chat groups is pretty good, Dragoon, especially since I'm thinking of doing multiple YouTube channels now. Like, I have the Sea of Thieves channel going, and maybe one day I'll bring back the Animal Crossing channel. So it's kind of nice having one server, and then the different groups of the different communities. It's kind of nice. We don't really have, uh, we're not really using that on our, uh, our guild server. The idea is to set all that up first. We playing Pikmin Tokyo Drift tonight? We are. Pikmin 2. Yo, Pikmin Racing would go hard. Can we get some Pikmin Racing? Dude, Olimar just got back. He hasn't even gotten a chance to say hi to his family yet. That's kind of sad, man. Olimar just got back. He literally had a souvenir in his hand for his kid. And whoop, right back to the planet you gotta go, because we're in debt. Pretty cringe, if you ask me. Let the man say hi to his wife and kids. He just escaped narrow death. Olimar doesn't want to see his family in the first place. True. I mean, have you seen his wife? I mean, I don't want to be me. I'm just saying, like, I probably want to crash land on Earth as well. Capitalism be like that. The grind never stops. Bye, Louis. The Pikmin are his family now. If I had any skill, I would speedrun Pikmin 2 so Olimar can get back home ASAP. I think Pikmin speedruns would be kind of fun. I never knew about Kirby Air Ride speedruns. Th those sound fun too. Maybe I should get into speedrunning one of these days. I don't think I would ever get like super good at one game though. I'd probably pick up one game, learn all the tricks, get a good run, and then like move on to the next game. I don't think I would like devote my, my life to one game. All right, y'all. I gotta call these Pikmin back, but I'm gonna take a drink of my Mountain Dew Voltage first real quick. See, this is where I wish I kind of did have sponsors because I would so make a thing for the video be like, well, while, they, while these guys are fighting for their lives, let me talk about today's sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends. And just do the whole bit while they're fighting for their lives over here. All right, I am gonna take a drink of, I am gonna take a drink real quick though. Yeah, and they're all Omar. Kill him. Kill him, Olimar. Punch him in the face. Hit him with your Olimar punch attack. You realized the other day that you've never actually played Pikmin or Pikmin 2 on the Gink. You only got into them when it was on the Wii. I think a lot of people probably got it uh, when it was on the Wii. The GameCube, as much as I love the GameCube, at the time, it did not sell very well. So, um, I think a lot of people might not have had GameCube before. Might have skipped it. Alright. Let's go talk to Louie. I remember when I was a kid, but I can't remember what age specifically. I was 11 when Pikmin came out. That's still kid enough. Through. Yeah, I think a lot of people have PS2s. I was fortunate enough that uh, I, I have both PlayStation 2 and GameCube. I still prefer the GameCube, though.
there's a there's a kind of a uh, a big difference between uh gamecube and playstation 2 owners from back in that generation if you talk to a gamecube owner um chances are the games that they are playing or the games they remember fondly are the same ones that you play gamecube players all play the same games smash pikmin luigi's mansion mario party like these are the games gamecube care players play but on playstation there are so many different games that there's like all these like sub communities you have people who play playstation but only play a certain type of game or only play the sports games or whatever right Pikmin! Look at him go! He's cute. How many GameCube players here play Custom Robo? Custom Robo? Are, do you mean Chibi Robo? The little robot that like cleans up the house and the family's all like wackadoodle characters? The little girl with the frog uh, hoodie and stuff? Is that the game you're talking about? Pikmin are silly. Yeah, Pikmin are very silly. Custom Robo. No, you are, you are saying Custom Robo. It doesn't sound familiar. I don't know if I played that one. Can you describe it? Can you describe the game? I might have played it. I had a lot of GameCube games when I was a kid. It's a sick game. You should play it on the channel sometime. Hint, hint. I'll have to look into it. The Lord of the Rings game is so hard. I love the movie video game. We should play some movie video games, man. Oh no, you're talking about on the SNES? We're talking about games. I don't know if it's going Daughters inquiring which Lord of the Rings game you're talking about. Una. Yeah, a Thousand Year Door is really good. I'm really excited for the Switch port. I'm looking forward to playing that. robots in an arena shoot the crap out of each other you can customize your robot all sorts of different parts i played a game boy advance game like that battle bots battle bots something something i forget what the full title is that does sound fun though that does sound fun i, I like little robot battles i love that tv show that battle bots show big fan of that pikmin are just silly they are they're just silly little guys they're just silly little guys. I will literally get a Switch just a thousand year door. Nintendo is frothing at the mouth at the prospect of selling a Switch. We can play remasters of games they already made on the game. That said, I am looking forward to buying it. Which version is this? This is the GameCube version. Okay, so I aimed here, they went there. Explain that one real quick. Yay, we found Louis. We found Louis. Get to work, Pikmin. Bring back that corpse so we may feast on its remains. And then make more Pikmin. Kill more people. Feast on more corpse. Rated E for everybody. 
those who have seen me uh see me play Pikmin before, but you haven't seen Pikmin 2, the main gimmick of this game is you have two captains now that you can multitask with them. Like like have Olimar go over here and wait for those Pikmin to like come back. And then Louie can supervise these Pikmin working on the battery here. A lot of multitasking in this game, thanks to the two captains. Louis owes me five schmeckle. Maybe that's what it is, trans. Maybe. Also, I remember it was some custom like robot fighting game where you design your robot uh, using the in-game currency to like buy parts and stuff like that, and then you kind of built it and battle it. Let's go, Pikmin. And lift! Remember, chat, lift with your back, not your legs. I think the main robot had, like, saw blade arms, Rance. I think it had, like, saw blade arms. I I'm thinking we're thinking of two different friends, like, two different games, but they're the same premise. There's probably a couple different battle bot style games. Yeah, Dragoon, the version on Switch of this game takes away all the uh the branded items, which in my opinion kind of cheapens the experience. I don't know, man. Maybe I'm just belly aching and nitpicking, but like I I I need my I need my my branded items, man. That's kind of part of the fun of, of Pikmin 2. Every time Solder and I go to a museum and I see like like an insect or a piece of art that I have in Animal Crossing, I like to point at it and go, oh my god, I have that in Animal Crossing. And like, I want to do that with this game, right? I want to be like, oh my god, I know what a Duracell battery is. I can't do that if it's all fake shit. The Courage Reactor. Was the battery taco flavored? Yes. All batteries are taco flavored. Go eat one. Leave it to me to think of a catchy names for hit products. It's but one of my many talents. And there we go. Day one is complete. Are you fighting? Sounds like a skill issue. Skill issue this, skill issue that. You wanna know who has skill issues? Fucking Skittles. Y'all know they made Skittles drinks? I saw them today. I was like, oh shit, that sounds good. So I got two of them. I got the Skittles one and the tropical Skittles one. Drink, like juices. Um, why the fuck does it taste like acid? Like just straight up acid that they like siphoned out of my car. Speaking of drinks, I'm alive. You just got one today? Which one did you get? I haven't tried the sour one. I don't think I'll be getting the sour one. Yeah. I'm here to watch Dust Play Pikmin 1. You got the sour one. Do you like the sour one? Is the sour one good? I'm about to try it. Dude, yo, try it. Report back, man. I'm curious about the sour one, but I was not like I did not like the red and blue and the blue one. It literally tastes like medicine. Like the red one tastes like red medicine. Like I had like PTSD flashbacks. To being a kid and my mom having to force me to drink my medicine. There are Skittles drinks, yeah. They they they're new, I guess. They're not good. Don't get them.
Yeah, Hero, uh, as Trans said, uh, PNF-404 is what the Pikmin people call this planet. It is very, very implied that the planet that they're on is planet Earth. And it seems to take place after humanity. There seems to have been some sort of event that wiped out all the humans or something. Which, who at Nintendo is like, fantasizing about that, by the way? I can think of like three Nintendo franchises that have that same gimmick. Splatoon does the same bit. Splatoon's lore is that like there used to be humans, but then they got wiped out and now they're squid people. Who's the developer at Nintendo who fucking hates me? Wants the world to be destroyed. Humans are kind of cringe. I mean, true, but like. Bro, cheer up. Life ain't that bad. <laughs> what up, Golden Gaming? Hello, valued player. It tastes what Pikmin look like. Give, give me a for real answer, Boyle. How, how is this? How is the sour Skittles drink? I, I kind of want to try it just to try all three of them, but the first two were so bad that I, I don't think I'm gonna like the other one. I already kind of don't like sour Skittles. It's just a morbid curiosity at this. Point. Sleeping Beauty over here. Uh -oh. Fringe, we already lost four Pikmin? Fringe! Bro, that's hella cringe, losing four Pikmin on day one. My disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking, man. I don't know. I'm not going to get that sour one. I'm going to skip that. If you didn't call them back, they wouldn't have died. No, they would have. I, I, I wasn't one cycling that, uh, that guy. I thought 30 was enough to just swarm him and kill him in one go, but apparently I was mistaken. No, I don't think so, boy. I don't know, man. I already don't like sour Skittles, and the first two Skittle drinks I did not like in the slightest. And I love tropical Skittles. I was kind of hoping the tropical Skittles drink would taste like Baja. You like the Skittles drinks, you like drinking battery acid. No, for real. Big day for battery acid enjoyers. But for the rest of us, I think uh, we're not the target audience. Hope you can get 200 reds today. Is that possible? Is it possible to get 200 red pick on, on day two? Pretty limited as to what we can do. Pretty, like, limited here. Tendere, what's going on? Welcome into the stream. How are you doing today?
How do you feel the Sonic menu at IHOP? I think it's cool. Uh, I went to IHOP after they did that. I just wanted to see the the, the ads and stuff and get some hand coins for some Sonic stuff. Um, that said, I didn't order anything off the uh, off the Sonic menu. None of the items look, look like something I really wanted to get. Also, all the items on the Sonic menu are items that you can already get at IHOP, but um. They're just like rebranded to be Sonic. So, not quite Sonic menu. For that. I think we can kill the bird today, can't we? Let's see. Let's see if we can take out the bird. Ah, oh, Lane, he doesn't spawn on day two? No bird? Oh, what well, everybody knows about the bird. Bird, bird, bird. Bird, bird's the word. Don't you know about the bird? Well, Dusk will tell you about the bird. Bird, bird, bird. Bird, bird, bird's the word. Bird, bird, bird. Nah, we're just chilling today, Shandra. We're just doing a casual playthrough. A little bit of casual Pikmin 2 today. No crazy challenges. <laughs> We've been doing a lot of challenge runs lately, and I have I'm having fun with them, but now I have so many challenges to edit videos for that I'm really backed up. And I have less time to edit since we're doing daily streams. So we need to do a couple casual plays and just to kind of vibe and hang out. I forget, do these Pikmin come with me? If I uh, go in here with Olimar, do they come with me? No, Pikmin entering 28. Okay. So the Pikmin do all need to be in the same spot. I think IHOP probably felt good as a kid because you weren't paying for it as a kid. IHOP is expensive for what it is. It's literally pancakes. Like, why the fuck is a stack of pancakes Nine dollars. That's actually kind of insane. As a kid, you don't know any better. But as an adult, I'm, I'm, I, I can't help but think, why am I paying nine dollars for pancakes right now? You know what nine dollars can get me? It can get me all three of the Skittles drinks, and then it'll make me induce vomiting. I can use that vomiting to get out of work. I don't consider that a problem, Trans. I, I like that they're randomly generated. It makes repl replaying the game a lot more fun because you're getting a bit of a different environment. I actually like the cave system a lot in Pikmin uh, 2. Because Pikmin 1 was all about like doing everything quickly, managing your time, and like you know getting all your ship parts before you run out of time. In Pikmin 2, they said, you know, we'll get rid of the time limit. Instead, they have these caves, and the challenge now is you have a limited amount of Pikmin that you have to make all the way to the end. I kind of like that, that, uh, that change. I love the Baker video. Yeah, that's going on the new channel tomorrow, Lizard. I'm, I'm going to probably do, like, I think one short a day on the Sea of Thieves channel. Because uh, shorts are a dime a dozen, so I can easily do one short per day. What? Did I say lizard? Green. My problem is you only have a few white and purple. Well, yeah, that's because white and purple are super OP. Purple, especially. It's fine if you don't like it, Trans. It's, it's all preference at the end of the day, but I, I like I like it. Pikmin 2 is a hard game compared to the newer Pikmin. The newer Pikmin's have gotten a lot easier. I kind of don't like that about the newer Pikmin. Like, I love Pikmin 4. Like, Pikmin 4 is such a vibe. The game looks really cute. They got some really nice visuals, some really nice uh, environments. But, uh, 
I have not had like the urge to replay it because the game offered an absolutely no challenge. The only challenging part of Pikmin 4 was those uh, master trials. And those are pretty hard. I'll, I'll give you that. Those are pretty hard. But that's an optional end game thing, right? I like having some challenge throughout the game. You still love Pikmin 2, you just get burnt out when you get to the late game phase. I feel you. At the end of the day, it's all preference. It's all preferences. And I do agree that, that some of the late game caves end up being like gauntlets. Like they're really difficult challenges. And you can do things to make it easier by like spamming sprays or uh, taking a couple uh, floors at a time and then like returning to the surface and whatever. But that, that makes it more annoying. That's more like, like tedious and annoying to deal with. Yeah, you're thinking of the whole of Heroes uh, Legend. That is one of the late game caves that we're talking about. It is a big boss run. Yeah, exactly. Pikmin 4 definitely uh, shifted more to optimization. They really embraced the whole Dandori bit. And um, I do like I do like the Dandori challenge in Pikmin 4. I just don't find them all that difficult, though. Like some some of the most fun for me in Pikmin, some of the most fun that I have is when I'm fighting really difficult boss enemies and I'm stressing out. Pikmin are dying. I'm like, oh my god, no, come back, don't die. Like th th those those like panic moments are like really fun for me. I don't get those in Pikmin Four. Pikmin Four like Pikmin just don't die unless you're being careless. <laughs> One thing I do like about Pikmin 2 that I talk about often. Also, what's up, Pikmin Gamer? How you doing, man? Welcome to the stream. I see your first time chat. Welcome in. Um, one thing I really like about Pikmin 2 is that the game is very difficult. It doesn't hold punches. However, they give the players a lot of tools to make it easier. So if you do, like, let's say you're having trouble on a certain boss or a certain goal, you can do things like abusing the purple Pikmin or abusing the sprays and make things a lot easier. But th that's what those are all like intended game mechanics. So it doesn't really feel like you're taking the easy way out. You know, it feels like you're kind of making the game easier for yourself, but you're not throwing it on easy mode and like admitting defeat. Like I think accessibility options and like uh, easy modes are like okay for games. Like I think it's perfectly valid to not want to play a, a game that's like super difficult and you just want to have like a chill fun time. But sometimes switching a game to easy mode, it feels like like you're acting defeat. It's, like it's very humbling. It's like, oh god, I can't do this. I have to do it on easy mode. Whereas Pikmin 2, giving you all these like tools that some of them can be kind of overpowered, you're not switching it to easy mode. You're just using the tools the game gives you. Even though it is making it easier by like spamming purple Pikmin and stone sprays at a guy, it doesn't really feel like you cheat the experience and still feel good about it. Who wins, Olimar and Louie or GLaDOS and Wheatley? Uh, Olimar and Louie. I don't know who the fuck Wheatley is. I know GLaDOS, I played the first Pikmin before. Oh no, I did play Portal 2 with Solder. I don't really remember, remember much of it though. Yeah, I love the Pikmin's marching noise. Y'all wanna hear it? Get the Pikmin. I love their lone ways. I had to really Pikmin 2 doesn't have a time limit. I kind of like the time limit in Pikmin 1 as well. But I, I, I like time limits in games. Time limits are their own, like, are their own, um... Uh, like genre of games. I play a lot of games with time limits, like uh, Majora's Mask and Dead Rising. Both those games have time limits, and of course, Pikmin One has a time limit. And a lot of gamers don't like time limits, and rightfully so. Like, like all the reasons people have for hating time limits are very valid. Like, 
it is valid to not want to have to be like racing the clock. If you don't like that feeling, then that's totally valid. But uh, I like them. I like them. Especially in games like Majora's Mask, where the time limit mechanic uh, isn't just about adding difficulty, but like storylines can change based on the actions you take on the three-day cycle, and then you play in, you play the next three-day cycle, and then do something different, and now it's a completely different story. Yeah, it, it wouldn't really fit canonically in Pikmin 2, and also with the caves. I think not having a time limit for the caves was smart. I, I probably wouldn't like the uh, I probably wouldn't like the underground caves as much if they were time based, as well as having time based on the surface. Pikmin gamer, thank you for the follow. Appreciate that. Welcome in. Thank you for your follow. Rick and Morty versus Olimar and Louie. All right, well, I don't know. Rick, um, Olimar and Louie. Always. My answer to all of these questions you're about to ask, Pikmin, is uh, Olimar and Louie. Cave complete. Yippee. You only lost zero quick. But you lost four on the surface, so still cringe. Still a very first cringe first day. Question. Do pick... By the way, Pikmin Gamer, just so you know, I am streaming on YouTube as well. So if you see me talking to other people that you don't see on Twitch chat, I do have a YouTube chat going as well. Just so you are aware. Yeah, Majora's Mask time limit does make the game a lot more difficult, but I really like how the world changes. Like, for example, the girl in the farm. If you get there on day one and promise her, hey... Uh, I'll help you fight the aliens, and then you do, you get the good ending, right? But on your first playthrough, you're probably getting there on day three, because you have to wait for the guy to break the break the rock, and then she's already, like, taken away, and then the, the big sister's super sad, but you don't know why, and then you learn why she's sad if you get there on day one, and then on day two, if you, if you uh, promise her that you'll do the alien side quest, but you don't do it, and then she gets abducted and brought back, and she's all, like, brain fucked, um, you get to see the, the consequences of your actions. And I think that Majora's Mask does that really well. There's a lot of really cool, um, like, different dialogues and stuff based on the actions you do during the three-day cycle. Who all sub? Hell yeah, Pick Pick. I can get you the link real quick if you want to sub on YouTube. I wasn't saying that, by the way, just to show my channel, even though you definitely should check out my YouTube channel. Um, I wasn't saying that just to show my channel. I just saw that you're a first-time chatter, and first-time chatters typically don't know them. Too. Would we get an apology video for how cringe first day was? Never. I don't do apology videos. I'm never wrong. Fake fan for implying that I could be wrong. Our debt is with happy Hokate savings and loan. There's nothing less to repos- <laughs> Besides, there's nothing left for them to repossess. So ha. Damn. How cringe was it? I lost four Pikmin on the first day. Because I tried bum rushing a bull board and I only had like 20 Pikmin. I remember seeing a video talking about it was a Dead Rising retrospective and they were talking about how they hated the time limit because they couldn't explore the mall and like at their own pace. And I always thought that was that was like, a lot of people say stuff like that. I thought that was kind of a stupid take. Like when it comes to games like that with the time limit, do you not do a whole playthrough and just dick around and not worry about the story? That's what I do. I feel like the people who really hate those time limit games are the type of people that want to play a game once and they don't want to replay it. 
a lot of people consider uh consider replaying a game like lazy game development because oh why should i replay what i already played i think there are a lot of people that are like that i think that's bulk of people who uh, hate stuff like that whereas i'm the type of person that like if i, if I have a game that i really like i want to play it a hundred times i had no problem playing some majora's mask and just dicking around for a three-day cycle Dude, I didn't get half my Pikmin, by the way. Half my Pikmin stayed in the onion. I love the ukulele apology video. That one lady. The toxic gossip train. Yeah, that was cringe. Alright, take two. Can we kill this bull board without losing any thickness? Here we go. Pikmin 1 and 2 pack, you're scared to play Pikmin 1, you're playing Pikmin 2 and 1, you don't want to kill all of them. Well, get good then. And then you won't die. Get under his butt and you can spam throw faster. You can also spam throw faster by using the C-Stick. It's called, I think they call it C-Stick throwing. You can uh, spam throw with your C-Stick as well. Like, for example, here, if I throw these 11 Pikmin solo, that's about how fast they get thrown, right? But if I C-stick them and swarm them around me, since they're closer to Olimar, he spams them a lot faster. I don't know how noticeable that was with only uh, with only 11 Pikmin, but using the C-stick to swarm them around you, you can throw them faster. I believe that only works on the GameCube version, though. I, I don't think on the, on the Switch version that's a thing. Is it a thing? I'm not too sure. Maybe pick the gamer knows. I don't know if you're how new you are to picking. But um But uh Maybe you can tell us. Sunseed Ten percent of debt recovered. Yippee! I sure do love recovering debt. I also love how the leaf Pikmin in this game don't drink the nectar by themselves while they're fucking the grass. That's pretty fog of them. Oh, my God. 
Power Pikmin! Hooray! Oh boy! Paying off debt! If I had a nickel for every Nintendo game that involved paying off a debt, I have two nickels, which isn't a lot, but it's weird that it's happened twice. Dude, I love the panicked emails at the end of each uh, day, friends. I love the emails. It sucks when you get to a certain day, you start just getting like the same variety of, of, of spam emails. I forget what day that is, but um, I remember doing a Pikmin 2, uh, like, a, like a personal challenge where I was trying to go for as many days as I could. And uh, at a certain point, every email just becomes the same thing. It's just like the same like five emails that they get like cycles. Oh god, he got one! You fucker! He got one, no! The bastard! Can you guys bring them back? Consider doing your job. What up, Hypo? Good to see you. You think I get into Animal Crossing considering about all the debt we pay? Low key, I, I really want to uh, get back into Animal Crossing. I know I got a lot on my plate right now. I just started my Sea of Thieves channel. I'm doing all these GameCube challenges. I know I got a lot on my plate right now, but that said, I want to do some uh, do some Animal Crossing. Rip to the pick. Alright, 70 should be enough for this one right here. 70 will be enough here. Done with your first week of classes? Hell yeah, Hypo. Sounds good, man. Alright, sub level one. Here we go. I know Pikmin 2 is like a still kind of a hard game, but can we take a second to appreciate just how easier they made the bugs? Pikmin 1, the bugs will snipe a Pikmin always. It is hard to kill the bugs without losing any Pikmin, unless you're playing aggressively cautiously. Like using Olimar instead of the Pikmin himself.
in this game, you have a lot of time to save Pikmin. Like, if a bug eats a Pikmin, but you kill the bug before they finish the eating animation, they'll spit the Pikmin back out and they'll be saved. Whereas in Pikmin 1, like, they'll just snipe one before they die. You didn't get into New Horizons that much? I like it a lot. I, I prefer New Leaf, though. New Leaf is my favorite Animal Crossing game. Very sad about the servers being shut down. Though. It's a very sad day. Yeah, tools breaking sucks. Tools breaking sucks. As far as choosing your neighbors, though, you can. You can uh, invite them through the campsites and stuff like that. The campsites or the mystery islands. I know it's, it's like a bit of RNG involved with that, but I think for Animal Crossing players, like hunting for like the dream villager is like a part of it. New Horizons is the game that like lets you have the most control about your neighbors. Older Animal Crossing, uh, you had very little control about your neighbors, which not, not, not to be a contrarian, but I actually kind of prefer older Animal Crossings in that regard. I kind of prefer that older Animal Crossings don't give you as much control about who lives in your town. Because I feel like the goal of Animal Crossing is to make it feel like like lifelike. It's supposed to feel like this is a town that's like going through the, you know their their daily life, whether you're playing or not. And uh, I don't know, I feel like having villagers like come and go on their own adds to that authenticity. It makes it feel more like a real town. Like, yeah, it sucks when uh, a villager moves and like you like them a lot, but... That's kind of part of the fun, you know? Animal Crossing GameCube was like the best example of it uh, because villagers would move without even telling you. Like you would wake up one day to a letter in your mailbox and like they'll be like, hey, I moved out, bye. And that's it. Whereas in the newer Animal Crossing games, they won't leave without asking you first. And that does kind of suck if like a favorite villager moves out, but like that's life, you know? Like sometimes your friends, like your family move away and that kind of sucks, but that's what makes it feel more real and then you end up becoming friends with villagers you never otherwise would like there's a lot of villagers who i probably would never talk to if i had the choice but because they were forced on my town and get in the gamecube game and i had to interact with them i ended up liking them a lot once i got to know them a little bit it made those relationships feel a lot more like real i don't want village like it, my, my biggest criticism in new in new horizons is the villagers feel like decoration they feel like collectible like they're pokemon and like the community is trading them on the on the web, on like discord servers they're trading villagers they're buying villagers they just they just kind of feel like collectible yeah uh if, if you're trying to do uh the amiibos uh Get the uh, knockoff Etsy amiibos. Don't buy the real ones because they're expensive. I have I have a whole book full of the Etsy amiibos, and they're really really good. Aside from amiibos, in order to uh in, in order to uh kick out villagers, you have to wait wait for them to want to move. Roughly every two weeks, a villager will ask to move. Yeah, like like a trading card book, but like of amiibo, amiibo cards. Yeah, literally like like you know like those old school like Yu-Gi-Oh binders. I have one of those, but for my Animal Crossing amiibos, and they're all fake. They're all I got, I got them all off Amazon and Etsy. I paid like maybe twenty bucks for a lot of them. They're not expensive when you buy them when you buy the knockoff ones. Eventually, I'd like to have the real ones because they're like they're a good collector's item. But I'm not paying some schmuck on eBay like fifty dollars for one rare Animal Crossing card. Like I ain't doing that. 
I ain't about that life. I get that it's a video game, but I feel like that was a part, a big part of the design of Animal Crossing was they wanted to feel like the, the, the original marketing of Animal Crossing was it's the game that plays whether you're there or not. Like the, the, the town is supposed to feel like a real town. They stole the save file icon. Yeah, I, I, I'm sorry. I was, I was so engrossed in my conversation. I didn't stop to appreciate whatever goofy name they gave up with, with for, the, for that. Amiibo cards. Yeah, they're they're cards, not figures. They're cards. Because there, I guess there was too many Animal Crossing villagers to make a million different figurines. So they decided to make the Animal Crossing Amiibo trading cards. I bet a lot of you guys watching who play this game didn't know that you can actually kill these guys for a bunch of nectar. Did y'all know? Smash that like button if you knew. Comment, what the fuck, Dusk? Comment, Erm, what the flip? Y'all, who wants to see the power of the purple Pikmin? Y'all ready for this? Yeah, you're dead. Bro couldn't even wake up from his nap without being killed. I can only say for a little bit, but I have hype for the GameCube art. Yeah, I've been playing a lot of GameCube games lately. I like it. I, I like the GameCube art. We're going to do some GameCube games for a while. Maybe some PlayStation 2 games as well. I do want to play Sly Cooper. That, that series has been coming up once in, uh, in conversations, and I would love to play some Sly Cooper. I think I'll finish Spyro first, though. That's fair, Trans. That's, that, that, that's fair. You can uh, speed things up by time traveling and stuff, but like that's also kind of like a spicy debate in Animal Crossing players. Some players think time traveling is like hacking. I think it's fine. I think you play the game however you want to play it. But I also think that that uh, it's valid to not like the type of game that Animal Crossing is going for. Is Sly Cooper a humongous game? No, it's, uh, uh, I think Naughty Dog makes that. Yeah, believe it or not, Naughty Dog used to make mascot platformers. I think they also made Jack and Daxter. I could be wrong about these, by the way. Somebody fact check me, because I could be wrong. But I'm pretty sure Sly Cooper was made by the same people that made Jack and Daxter, and I'm pretty sure it was Naughty Dog. Or was it Sucker Punch? It might have been Suck Sucker Punch sounds more familiar. No, that, that, that's valid, Trans. It's, it's, it's natural to want to get on the hype and excitement. I, I've gotten used to that because I'm so used to like people getting really excited and hype over a game and to me it just doesn't look that good. I'm kind of used to it by now. Yeah, we'll play the other Spyro games soon. We'll play them for sure. I want to play them. I want to finish them out. It was Sucker Punch. Naughty Dog did Jack and Daxter. Okay, thank you. Forever Pinata Spyro Adventures. No, I'm gonna fix the. I am going to fix the Pinata glitch. I'll have to like uninstall and reinstall the game or something. But I'm gonna fix that Pinata glitch. Ratchet and Clank, Sly Cooper, Jack and Daxter. Truthfully, I haven't played much of Jack and Daxter, so I can't really. Uh, I can't really argue with you. Uh, I played Ratchet and Clank and Sly Cooper. I definitely like Sly, Sly Cooper more. 
If I want to call that controversial, I'm sure a lot of people prefer this game. All right, time to fight a giant. And we're going to make things a little bit easier. We're going to go ahead and separate. We don't need all of our picks in for this battle. We just need like a small group. Be 30. Thirty-two. Sometimes, y'all, a smaller group of Pikmin is easier to manage, and they're better for taking down these big bosses. Oh god, you almost got rolled over, buddy. You almost got squished, Little Red. And the giant worm is... Ew, look at him. I hated this wormy guy. Erm, um, actually, cat dog, it's a wormy lady. That's called the Bullback Queen. You know all the bulborbs that we kill? They all came out of her. She's the Bullback Queen. She's the one that spawns all the bulborbs. She does she doesn't do it in during this fight, because I guess this is your first time fighting her, so they made it easier. But in later battles with her. In uh later battles with her, they make us uh fight her while she's spitting out babies. And the babies are a bitch. The babies are just like the bugs in Pikmin 1, where you can kill them easily, but they will get one Pikmin on the way out. They absolutely will. The prototype detector. The love tester. Babe, stand next to me. See if this thing goes off. Let's see if our love is true. Yeah, but trans, uh, bullshit minigames are like a staple in that era. There are so many games that have such difficult fucking minigames. There's one in Donkey Kong 64 that I to this day still can't beat, and that's Beaver Bash. I to this day cannot beat Beaver Bash in Donkey Kong 64. I have no fucking clue how I'm supposed to do that. Every time I play Donkey Kong 64, I try it. I spend like an hour and a half doing it. I can't. I just cannot beat Beaver Bash. That shit is too hard. Yeah, that is the, uh, the love tester is something Nintendo used to make. Yeah, the, Nintendo used to make other products besides video games. Yeah, Devor, Pikmin, uh, Pikmin, uh, was started as a tech demo for GameCube called Mario 128 and uh, the tech demo was just a bunch of little Marios running around the screen and that's kind of what inspired Pikmin because there was a tech demo showing off how it, how the GameCube is capable of like rendering a hundred independent creatures doing their own thing. Yeah, when do we get to play Mario 128? They should make that a thing. It was mandatory. The mandatory ones are even worse. Thank God in, the, in Donkey Kong 64, the one I was talking about, it's not mandatory. But thank God. What I would give to go back in time and stay at a Nintendo Love Hotel. Yeah, Nintendo used to have love hotels, man. That's true. Not a lot of people know that. I feel like Nintendo doesn't want people knowing their history like that. But yeah, Nintendo used to make love hotels.
Are you talking about the white Pikmin fans? Uh, like the best thing they added? I love the white Pikmin. The white Pikmin are really cute. Also kind of cringe, but I forgot that I actually do need some of the purple Pikmin. So let me put away 10 of these reds and I'll take out 10 of purple. We need more purples. We need 200 pigments. We don't have that. I don't know if we still have enough. Let me see. I don't know. I don't know. Didn't know about the Nintendo Love Hotel? Yeah, look it up. There's lots of videos talking about what Nintendo used to do before video games. They've had a couple of different uh in this Nintendo. Slab were big and fish four out for chaos. I don't know. Why don't you ask why don't you ask the Sonic Adventure YouTube? I'm a Pikmin streamer now. Nah, don't bring him back, it's fine. Got him. I know far too many people that would pay for a steamy night with Bowser. Yeah, right. Dust, do you play hardware or emulator? I play original hardware, Devor. Ignore the dolphin save data thing that happens every time I save the game. Definitely hard uh, original hardware. If any Nintendo lawyers are listening, it's original hardware. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Ignore the yellow text on top of the screen right now that says "Wrote Save Contents to the GCI Folder." That's just my my GameCube. It's very special. I got a very rare GameCube that does that. I, I, I got probably the rarest GameCube. Ever. Checks out, checks out. What up, Red Beard? How you doing? Welcome in, Red Beard. It's -a me, a Mario. Slap of my spicy -a salami. That should be my new battle cry for our Mario Party stuff. Got alien billboard, the kiwi shoe polish. Y'all remember, you can eat shoe polish only once, though. Then you die. Nine o'clock. Alrighty, you have a good day, Devor. 
Thank you for hanging out. Enjoy your time with your wifey. Mine seven two transpire. Uh, yeah, Mario Party seven. I love the one v one mode. I played a lot of the one v one mode. With my sister. Their least favorite GameCube one? No, I think my least favorite GameCube one is probably five. But I, I say that just because like I have to pick a least favorite, right? Like I don't actually hate it. I love Mario Party 5. I am down to play Mario Party 5. But if, if, if I had to pick a least favorite GameCube one, I probably would say five. Petrified Heart. It's me for real, for real. You're doing blocks roots. I wish I knew what a block root was. Sadly, I don't. I need to educate. I'm always saying I want to see competitive Mario parties, like on the GameCube. You know how they still do uh, Smash Melee? I think every Smash Melee tournament should have a side Mario Party tournament and a side Kirby Air Ride tournament. I want some sweaty, try hard Mario Party. Yeah, or the Mario Sports games, too. I don't care as much about the Mario Sports games, but I would love to see them being played competitively. I think especially Kirby Air Ride. I think Kirby Air Ride would go hard, honestly. I think Kirby Air Ride would go hard competitively. Competitive Mario teaches typing. There we go. Alrighty, time for the white pigment. Ew, he farted. Incredible, a white pigment. So tiny, but looks distinctively swift. Yo, the white pigment are Swifties? They're just like me for real, for real. Me when I gotta get a drink in the next room, take my private airplane, fly over there. Alright, we got the white pick. Your favorite Pikmin type, yippee. Get to digging, white Pikmin. I love their digging noise, by the way. I love when White Pikmin dig. The little ho ya ho ya. I love that shit so much. That's gotta be my ringtone. I'm gonna change my ringtone. Again. And we all got flowered? Oh, nice. We all got flowered. It's amazing.
get this guy. They're such little guys. Twitch gets to take their private airplane everywhere, but I'm the one that has to use a paper Survival ointment. Hey, babe, my lips are a little dry. Can you pass the survival ointment? We gotta do a, a tier list of all the Pikmin 2 treasures. A lot of tier list videos I want to make. We gotta make more of those. Those are fun. Favorite cereal? Cinnamon Toast Crunch or Reese's? Toxic Toadstool. That sounds like Princess Peach's gamer tag. Oh, we're already done. That was a fast cave. All the shit spawned right at the beginning. Kicks and corn pops. Please don't hate me, chat. I I didn't know what kicks are. Why would I hate you for your cereal choice? It's all it's all the same shit. It's all corn at the end of the day. It's all just fucking modified corn. Alright, purple and whites, so you guys hang back and stay safe. The reds got this battle. Don't worry, we're a trained king professional. We've never lost a battle in our lives. Yeah, come get me. Oh, oh, almost that. Gotta be quicker than that. Gotta be quicker than that. Oh, 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 Spit my Pikmin out. Those aren't for you. There's a cinnamon kicks. I mean, don't let don't let the government know this. They don't want you to know this. But uh, you can add cinnamon to any cereal that you have. And make cinnamon whatever it is. The government doesn't want you to know this, but it's not illegal to put cinnamon in your cereal.
Ah, the five man knapsack. The most game breaking power. -up. Alright. Got our glove. Five man nap set. This material looks comfortable. I'll patch it in the boss's sleeping bag. The knapsack. Press and hold X to take a nap. What does taking a nap do, you ask? <laughs> Yippee! And that's it. That's literally all it does. I think in some of the some of the speed run slash time trial challenges, whatever, I think that that actually does become useful because it's a way for you to move the captain while you're doing something else with a different captain. But uh, we're not really going to be uh, using that during this casual playthrough. Nap supremacy. This message brought to you by the EP Gang. All right, y'all, I got to take a quick piss break and a water refill break, so I shall be right back after these commercial messages. Uh, John said y'all were saying Is he? Am I quiet? Am I a quiet I literally looked. Sure. I literally sure. looked for it, and it was not there. Then I asked for help, and it manifested. Can anyone existence. else hear Slaughter or on my headphones messing up? What is going on? Is your thingy supposed to be a zero? Like, it's zero even when I I 
I can barely see your progress. Right, now I get Your speakers are negative. I know, I know, I know, baby, I know. It's not your fault. do the thing where I fuck with the game again right now. That's probably what it is if you use it does it. Alright, I'm just gonna increase the mic gain. This is kind of like a cheap fix, but I'm hoping this will fix something. How about now y'all talk oh god now now it's like peaking red though. Now it's like really loud. Talk, 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 talk. La 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 la. Is it really loud? It sounds really loud. I'm gonna make it a little lower. La 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 la. I'll put it to 69 because that's funny. All right, how about now? I I moved it down a little bit. Are we are we good now? Is is it still too loud? Is this is this good? This is better. Is it is it too loud? Should I make it louder? Because I, I I scream when I play, so if I scream and it's if it's loud, maybe I should go a little bit lower. They're going what? What you say? What? All right, I'll keep it at sixty nine for now. All right, get back to talking. I gotta refill my water. Okay, hello? Can I actually talk to you guys? Hello? Can I? May I? God. God, did you know that Dusk's first day was a bit quinch and he won't make an apology video? He lost four Pikmin. Damn, that's so fucking embarrassing. Else caller, hello? How are you? This is normal volume because like, you're back to 1%. Mm -hmm. I wonder what happened. It's so annoying when just random shit changes random. No settings were touched. He was literally in VC last night with y'all. He didn't, like, adjust anything. It's so stupid. How it can work perfectly fine 12 hours ago, but now it's just being fucky looking. You know what I mean? Solder, there you are. How the hell are y'all? Boy, yo, hello, hello, hello. Hi, Solder, I'm doing okay. Hell yeah. Uh, at least I can hear you now. I prefer corn tacos. I do too. Uh, I think I should bounce, actually. I wanted to stay until White Pikmin, but I got some stuff to do before it gets too late. <clears throat> if I'm done early, I'll try and catch the end of the stream. Best of luck with your work. We will see you later. I hope everybody's having a great day. We were at the beach earlier today. So first of all, 
I woke up this morning and it was fog everywhere. I'm like, oh my god, our beach day is gonna get canceled. No way. Um, but then I was like, no, let me check the radar. Blah blah blah. And it said it was gonna clear up like three hours later. I'm like, all right, I guess he'll sleep in. We'll rest a little bit before uh leaving the house. And then it was it, it took us like 45 minutes to get there anyway. Thank God it ended up clearing up. It ended up being a beautiful day. But yeah, it was like foggy as hell. And very overcast. And kind of dog shit. For a couple of hours today. And then it cleared up. And then after the beach, he got pizza and I got sushi. No, I'm drinking your bullshit. He's trying to make me drink more of the Skittles drink. No water, no water down. It actually... It's still so syrupy. For you, more water. But yeah, just pro tip. If y'all you gain the Skittles drink, water it down. Consider not buying drinks that you have to fucking water down just for it to be good. Consider that. Like, you don't have to give them money. You don't have to. What kind of sushi do you like? I typically go for volcano roll, spider roll, Mexican roll, um, any tempura roll. Love, 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 love. Um, if it's got shrimp and avocado in it, yum. The tuna is also fried salmon. I don't think the only sushi I have ever had that I don't like deep sea is a California roll. That makes me gag. I'm not joking. No, don't. Can I help you? Get the hell out of here. Get the hell out of here. Quinn! Why does he think he can come back and just pick the string whenever he wants? That's not how this works. That's not how this works. Yeah, I think the only sushi I've ever disliked is California roll. That that one's actually vile. It makes me gag. Disgusting. Epic dust. Check Discord, please. Is there some wacko in it that I need to take care of? Oh god, what happened? He's being cringe. Oh, somebody named Legendary underscore Dragoon is being cringe. Don't worry, I'll ban them. Thank you for bringing that to my Thank you. I mostly just like nigiri. Sushi rolls don't appeal to me as much. They have too much going on for me. That's valid, because yeah, you're supposed to eat it in one bite. But sometimes there's like, sometimes there is a lot going on. You're valid, you're valid. Um, I really like seaweed, though. That's the thing. I really fucking love seaweed. So they need to make sashimi with a little bit of rice and a little bit of seaweed and not roll it up. <laughs> they, they, they need to do a secret third thing. Huh? I said what I said. You've been removed from the I want a shit ton of crunchy rolls. Yum, yum, yum. I love seaweed chips. Love them. Love them. I'll just take seaweed sheets sometimes and just pair it and just eat it like that. I don't feel like so sometimes I'll do very lazy tuna hand rolls. There, it, I do it very lazy. I don't, I don't do it. Just a little something something. Don't you bogos bin That won't absolve you of your crimes. Your um, gamers? I have one. Queen! There. How do I have one? I convinced my oldest little sister to try sushi once, and she thought it was good, 
but now she reprises and refuses to try anymore. The other two love it though. I forget the name, but there's flavored seaweed cheese I used to buy from Amazon. My fave is teriyaki and salty. I just like the, uh, how to say, briny taste. I don't know how to describe it. I just love that briny taste. Whenever people are like, oh, I don't like seafood. It's, it tastes too much like the ocean. Yeah, that's why I'm fucking eating it. What are you talking about? Hello? It tastes good as hell. What? Ew it. Guys, tell John to take me out to a sushi restaurant for my birthday. $500 worth of sushi in one sitting. I gotta do it. I gotta do it. A humble request. A very humble request. Took a wee nap. I almost fell asleep. And I was laying in bed just now. You're just like me. For real. For real. How was your nap? When we were at the beach today, there was a uh, park next to it. And I took a walk through the park and I saw, I'm not exaggerating, in the slightest, the fattest, roundest cardinal I've ever seen in my life. And he was extremely bright red. He was so gorgeous. Could I take a picture of him? No, he flew away. But I saw him. Forever ingrained in my mind. Ever in grade. Maybe, perhaps. Okay, bye gamers. He is back. Bye gamers. Why does daughter mute the mic and like talk to me and then when she goes to unmute it, she goes, okay, three, two, one, like we're going fucking live on a radio show. Three, two, one, and we're live back again with the Epic Dusk Extravaganza. On today's episode, how to make the Skittles drink not taste like shit so you don't feel bad for spending $3 on them. Yeah, that's why I'm trying to water it down, make it taste nice. I spent money on it. All right, y'all, real quick. Uh, Una is saying I need to check Discord real quick. Let me just make sure there's no cringe on Discord. Let's see. I got a message. Yeah, that does look infected, Una, but I don't know why you're sending me a picture of that. You should probably talk to your doctor about it. I don't know why you're sending me a picture of that. That's just a little creepy. I don't know. Okay, Skittles All right, sorry, y'all. I'm responding. All right, let's get back into the game. Let's go, gamers. Where's my headset?
Okay, give me this fucking blanket. I spent 150, you got bamboozled. Erm, um, boyo, can't do math alert, I bought two of them. 150 plus 150, last time I checked, let me calculate it. Yep, that's three dollars. Bing, 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 winner! Oh shit, he can do math. Everybody point and laugh at the guy who doesn't know how to math. Me whenever I buy a meal that I don't like. No, for real. Buying food that like you don't end up loving is like, I feel scammed. Alright, let's see if we can get to the third, uh, the third hole before the day's over. Let's see if we got this, gamers. I forget, it, we do need per, uh, whites, right? A red's gonna get poisoned if he goes there. Yeah. Oh god, the Pikmin are fighting during the cutscene. Fur Fighters when? I don't know, Fulming. I looked at your video. It's a game that I've never played before. I typically prefer to play games that I, I, I'm familiar with on stream. That way I know the stream's gonna be good. Because my biggest fear is playing a brand new game on stream. Especially one that a viewer is like super excited for. Because like they, they want me to play it. But then like five minutes into the stream, I'm like, Hey, this game kind of sucks. I don't like it. And like, I don't want to play it no more. And then like, it kind of kills the whole vibe, you know? I'm not opposed to playing games I never played before. Like, I'm not saying it's a hard no, but I'm not 100% sure on Fur Fighters. At, le at least not anytime soon. And yeah, we're not getting this today, I don't think. We got 50, 65, 30. Call him back. Thoughts on fighting games? I'm not big on fighting games. I like Smash a little bit. He's going to the third hole? You never been to the third hole, Fulming? The third hole is a magical place. I mean, who doesn't love the third hole? Raise your hand in chat if you've never been to the third hole. How's progress, Olimar? Remember, you gotta do this shit to win the game. Shut up. You're not my boss. I mean, you are. But you're not my dad. Maybe you are. I don't know. They look similar. You want to try on the ATV? Yes. When I asked, do you want me? Do you want to turn on the AC? Just assume I'm asking. Do you? No. You know what? You know what I mean. No. You're being silly. You're being a silly goose. Somebody gets sawed or a pond. She's being a silly goose right now. It's silly goose hours.
Geese are terrifying. They sure are. All right. Day two on this area. Imagine not being a member. Foaming, whenever I unlock members for the new channel, I am forbidding you from ever doing memberships on the third channel. You're not allowed to. Oh my god, he's doing five. Oh my god, he's dropping five memberships. Holy shit. Foaming, thank you so much for the five members. Appreciate that, buddy. I appreciate those five memberships, and I trust those are the last five that you'll do today. Do not go crazy with the memberships like you always do. Today's a normal day where we're pacing ourselves. Surely. Thank you so much, Folming. I appreciate that, man. I appreciate your continued support of the Epic Dust streams. You are truly the most epic of gamers. And we are honored to have you. Oh my god, we're doing five more. Holy shit, guys. Five more memberships. Once again, thank you so much for the five gifted memberships, Full Ming. I really appreciate that, buddy. You don't have to do that. You don't have to be giving memberships like this. But I appreciate you so much, Full Ming, you fucking epic ass gamer. Thank you so much for continuing to support the stream. Good kill, guys. Good kill. Oh, you know what? At this point, it's faster to wait for the bridge to be done. They're going fast on this. Damn, Foaming. I appreciate you, man. You're always giving so many memberships. I appreciate you, man. I appreciate your, your support of my humble channel. Let's get some more berries. I'm gonna leave. Alright, Beard. Well, it was fun having you, man. It was fun having you. Have a good night. Best question. Uh, are you familiar with Call of Duty games? Yeah, I used to play Call of Duty a lot when I was in high school. I was a big, I was a big uh, Call of Duty kid. Why'd you laugh at that? What? I, I, I gotta mute the mic. Solder's like, laughing at me for some reason. She, she said it was funny because... And yeah, I'm going to expose her ass. I don't care if she muted the mic. Uh, she said it was funny because the way I said that, I was like, yeah, I played Call of Duty when I was an actual fucking child. <laughs> Nothing wrong with liking Call of Duty. Although some of the new ones are kind of cringe. Some of the new ones, like with all the DLCs and paid microtransactions. I used to like Call of Duty a lot, though. I used to like... It, it, I, liked, I liked it back in like the, uh, the Black Ops 3 days. Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops 3. Those are the games I played like, the most of. Or Black Ops 2 was it? I think it was Black Ops 2 actually. Oh wait a minute! Wait, where's the? Am I? Oh no, no. We we need the uh the fucking the, the purple pick man. That's what we need. Yes, Typey, that's me. I'm the guy who slurps it all up. I don't take sips. There's two, there's two types of people in the world, chat. There's sippers and guzzlers when it comes to drinking their drinks, right? And I am definitely a guzzler. I'd be guzzling that shit. Go, 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 go! 
I'm the kind of guy that has to like specifically tell the waiter at a restaurant, hey, listen, I'm just gonna let you know right now, you know how often you check for drinks? Like, you know, you have like your routine, right? I need you to double that for me because I am going to need refills. I don't actually say that. That'd be incredibly cringe and gross to talk like that. But I wish it was kind of acceptable to do so because I do be getting refills on the reg. I'd be gulping that shit. Stop calling me succulent. You're succulent. Okay, I think she's gonna eat me. I think she's like trying to fatten me up and cook me up into a stew. She keeps referring to me as succulent. Should I be worried? When we first met, we went to a water park uh, as like one of our earlier dates. And uh, I, I uh, got really bad sunburn on my belly. And she called me a glazed ham after she put the aloe vera on me. She called me a glazed ham. I'm noticing a trend. Solder is constantly referring to me as some sort of a food item. Chat, should I be worried? Check if your blank is a nori sheet tonight. <laughs> Maybe she's just calling you a bright, fragile houseplant. Somehow that doesn't make me feel much better. I'm not fragile, I'm strong. Well, this is kind of cringe now. Now we have a whole data burn. We now have like a whole ass data burn here. I guess I'll take like half the reds and we'll just do the uh the berries. And Almar who I did not realize was still all the way back here. We'll take the other Pikmin and do some more projects, I guess. We'll figure something out today. Might as well. And we can get this berry treasure over here. Oh, we got a nectar. Nice. We'll wait for the other captain to get that. I know of a, I know of a pro strat where you can uh, use both captains to get the nectar. Yeah, that's right. You guys get pro strats on this gameplay. Let's go, Pikmin. Alright, y'all, watch this pro gameplay. Y'all ready for this? What we gotta do is go like, okay, wait for the cutscene. That's the first step. First step is wait for the cutscene. And what we do is we gotta stand close to it. Don't touch it though. Just get close to it. Right about there. Watch another cutscene. 
because fucking I can't do jack shit in this game without a cutscene. All right, with the app, with the idle ca captain next to it, and he's like not touching it. Push him into it, and then as soon as he starts slurping, we gotta start slurping. And then bada boom, that gives us two nectars for the price of one. What a steal! What a bargain! You know what we call that, chat? We call that a two for one special. What would I do if a real baby chow was at my door? Fucking eat it. All right, 15 white Pikmin, start breaking down this wall. There's not much else for us to do with uh, just Olimar and just these Pikmin. We should have gotten the, uh, we should have gotten that globe on the next day, on, on the previous day. I think Quinn's talking about the comment, like the another five really do, but I don't think it came off as weird. I think I think you're fine. I think maybe uh they they didn't mean it to come off weird, but they thought it sounded weird, so they wanted to clarify. Get this frog over here. Come here, froggy. Nah, he won't stay over here. We probably could. We probably could kill that frog over here, get some free pigment off of it, but Ultimately, what's the point? You guys are still working on that? Make sure no Pikmin are left behind anywhere. Oh, we are missing one white Pikmin. God damn it. Or purple Pikmin, I'm sorry. Okay, we got 43. Make sure there's no other Pikmin left behind somewhere. No one being left behind. No one being a silly goose right now. Alright, we're good. We'll see if the whites can break this down in four seconds. Come on, white Pikmin, you got this. Come on! No, they don't got it. This stream's a vibe. Yeah, I like these casual uh, gameplay streams. They're cool, they're chill. We're vibing, we're chilling, we're live, laugh, loving. I'm excited for tomorrow's stream. We're gonna stream Sea of Thieves again. 
Eventually, I'll do the Sea of Thieves streams on the Sea of Thieves channel. But at least for this month, I'm going to keep all the streams on this channel just because uh, we're doing our daily stream special. But uh, I'm excited, man. Tomorrow's like a like a, a double XP weekend, so we're going to grind out. We're going to make some gold. I'm going to become a billionaire. It's going to be great. Very excited for Sea of Thieves tomorrow. All right, time to go to the perplexing pool. They call it the perplexing pool because it's so perplexing how, despite being called a pool, you can't swim. I wonder. All right, Pikmin, front and center. It is time to play the game. We're going to get 70 reds, and we're going to get 15 whites. We're going to get one Louie. Let's get... Actually, you know what? Scratch that, because we got to build up the yellow Pikmin population just a little bit. So let's actually do 20 less reds, and then we can get 20 more yellows. That'll be the plan. To reuse a joke I made yesterday, he's got a membership! You fools! We all have memberships! We all have a membership! You get a membership! You get a membership! We all get a membership! Alright, I remember this being kind of hard. We had to, like, get the, uh... We had to, like, direct the Pikmin over to that wall. But, like, it's kind of hard. They might drown. Is that how we're supposed to do it, by the way? I actually don't even know if that's how we're supposed to do it. That's how I always do it. I'll throw a few Pikmin here, and then I'll, like, I'll guide them to this wall. Then he falls in and dies. And he can't swim this far. Oh, he can't swim. Yeah, they're very forgiving now. Holy shit. No way he survived that. I'm not sure how to get them to get over there. Maybe I go around, like, the long way? Oh, maybe that's it. Maybe, maybe you're supposed to go around the long way. Yo! Thank you, Wolfie! Thank you for the membership gift. Appreciate that, man. Let's try going around. Let's see if that's maybe the intended way to do it. Let's go around. Around the world, around the world, around the world, around the world. Yeah, maybe I'm supposed to do this. Ah, and with these Pikmin, we can just walk over there. Amazing. Brilliant, even. I've always done it uh, the harder way. I've always done it the way where, like, I just throw Pikmin across the gap and get them behind the bridge. Apparently, that's not how you're supposed to do it. Who knew? Well, thank you again, Wolfie, whether you did it for the lols or for any reason, really. I appreciate the membership, man. Very kind of you. Let's kill this frog. Killing frogs is okay, as long as it's Pikmin. Ooh. 
Bridge has been built. Oh my god, cutscenes every five seconds! Please, let me play the game! I know! I know, Pikmin! I know what the things are! I'm a professional gamer! I play Pikmin for a living! All right, Pikmin, kill the fireball board. We lost one. Oh no! We lost a soldier. All right, we lost one. You know, it could have been worse. We could have lost more than that. It could have been just a little bit worse. Come on, guys. All right, we need our white Pikmin. Break down this wall. before he eats a berry! Don't let him eat my berries! What's up, Cheddar? Can't stick along, uh, around long? That's all good, man. Happy to have you, even if it's only for a little bit. Still happy to have you on stream. Welcome in, gamer. Hope you're doing good today. Cheddar, stick around. The stream is too good. Yo, why was Sod and I at the beach today? And I wanted to give the seagulls some cheese and crackers, and she was telling me not to. Someone explain to me why was Sod gatekeeping me? Is it true that if you give one seagull a cracker, they'll like know to go to you, and like every seagull on the beach will start swarming you? Or is Sod just being a gatekeeper? I always want to feed the animals, but my sis gets upset about it. Yeah, Sonic says she can't trust me with wild animals. She says that, she says I try to approach them too much. And I do. But, like, why, why can't I approach them? They're just little guys. One time we were walking, and um, there was, like, a whole row of ducks. Like, along, like, a pond. Like, there was, like, a whole row of them. 
and I took one step closer to them, and they all in unison got up and left. And I felt very offended at that. I was actually really offended. I was like, what did I do? Why? Why, why am I being treated like this? Skill issue. Low key, it was a skill issue. One time at the park, I saw a guy petting a, one of the uh, one of the geese, and like the geese was following following him around, like and, like letting them pick him up and pet him and stuff. So obviously, there's some skill to it. I like how when Olimar finds the red Pikmin, that they're actually fighting for survival, but the yellow Pikmin, they're just chilling in a tree. They're just hanging out. Seagulls are assholes, but they're cute. I saw a little cluster of them over the ocean. I was like, oh my god, look, there's loot. Like in Sea of Thieves. getting our yellow Pikmin population going. I'd love to find some flowers too, because our yellow Pikmin are slow as shit. Can we get some uh, flowers, please? Here we go, flowers. Here we go. Let's nectar them up. Your favorite, yellow Pikmin. What up, Kitsune? How you doing? What's going on, Kitsune? How you doing? Welcome to the stream. They're drowning. Why did they carry it into the water? God, you yellow Pikmin are so stupid. You, this is why you guys are my least favorite. I swear, this is why the yellow Pikmin are my least favorite, because they do stupid shit like that. Like, why? why? Why did you do that? What was the purpose of that? Got a VR with my man, had a really chill day. Nice, this sounds fun. Glad you had a good day. 
I also had a good day with my romantic partner, Solder Art, who I love very much. Yes, yes, I see the fucking nectar. I see the captain juice. Just gotta push him into it. Is there any Pikmin stuck somewhere? There is one Pikmin stuck somewhere, son of a bitch. Hopefully, in saving him, we didn't lose anybody else. I really hope we didn't lose anybody else during that. I forgot to watch the cutscene, so we'll never know. No, we'll know on, on this screen here. We'll know. Did anybody die today? Nope. Nobody got left behind today. One person died to a battle, but we've only lost six Pikmin so far on this run. Our loan came from the all-devouring black hole loan sharks. Oops. Uh-oh. I also had a lot of fun today with my man. Hell yeah, Fulming. Shout out to having good days with our with our peeps. Alright, let's go to Awakening Wood, aka me in the mornings. Ayo. What up, Giga Gamer? Kill this bug. Okay, don't spawn the bug, though. Don't spawn that bug just yet. I told him about your streams, and uh, you check it out sometimes. Unfortunately, the schedule's not aligned too well. That's all good. I appreciate you. Uh, I appreciate you supporting the channel, like sharing sharing the channel with people. I appreciate that. Also, one of my Pikmin's being eaten right now while I'm watching this cutscene. Is that the wifey? My wifey's in the background right now. She's chilling on the on the bed. Wait, no, she I think she's in the shower actually. Yeah, she's in the shower. What am I saying? Thank you. 
And now we have this thing. I guess Olmar can have these white Pikmin work on the berries. Tear down the wall! Tear down the wall! Tear down the wall! He's working on another wall real quick. I think I killed this guy. Wait, nope. I need two of you. And now you guys can work on... Oh, actually, let's have a couple of you working on this. The rest of you can go on the wall. Alright, the rest of you guys can work on that, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. You guys figure, figure out your own jobs. Y'all do something on You're your own. Crash. Ah. Oh my god, we just got a subscribe a subscriber on Twitch. Yo, J Sams, thank you for subscribing, my dude. I appreciate that very much. Thank you for your epic gamer subscription. Now nah, let's build that wall up again. Nope, we can't build it. Once the wall's down, the wall's down. We cannot rebuild it. Oh god, these fish are so annoying. Get him, guys! Is there a trick to getting these guys easier? Because surely we're not just chasing them around the map. I think we are just chasing them around in circles. Okay. That's fine. We got one. Here, let's get the rest of the flowers first. We got more Pikmin working on that. The water in this game looks so crisp. It does. Dude, GameCube water looks good for being a GameCube like graphics. The water does look good. Oh wait, they can't bring that back, can they? Oh no, they can. Yeah, bring that back. Yeah, y'all bring that back. Oh good, they killed the fish. Good job, everybody. 
Good job, blue Pikmin squad. Yellow Pikmin supremacy. Nah. I don't fuck with yellow Pikmin. What do we got this time? We got a dice block. What are we calling this thing? A chance totem. Y'all, let's roll the chance totem. You never play Pikmin? You definitely should, man. It's a fun game. I love Pikmin. The Pikmin games are a timeless classic. Only true gamers can appreciate the masterpiece that is Pikmin. We got 25 blue pictures. What's up, Karen? How you doing? Welcome in. How are you doing today? Oh, I also totally forgot. Fuck. I was supposed to have the blue pigment carrying something. That's embarrassing. I forgot about that. I need the blue pipe to carry back this paint tube. Because paint tubes are treasure in this game. I do have a server. If you want to join it, you feel free to. Our server's nothing super special. We don't it's not like a crazy active server, but I can get you the uh, link real quick. Our... Yeah, let me get you the uh the link real quick. Let me pause real quick. If you want to join, feel free to join. Our server's not crazy active and it's kind of unorganized, but you know what? That's just part of the uh, part of the chaos. I think, honestly, if y'all want to join? Feel free to join. And then we also need these, uh, yellow pigs. Come on, yellows. Pick up the pace, buddies. to break down this little wall thing here. Matter of fact, they can continue doing this.
Okay, good. We got our, fi our fifth with us. Awesome. We'll probably tackle the hole of beasts. Which is a very difficult hole, if I remember correctly. We got the Mario Paint! Decorative goo! Yo! Pass me that decorative goo. And what are we calling this one? What is what is this even? Carmex for cold sores. Healing cask. I prescribe to you one healing cask. Perfect. What's up, Soaker? What was the what was the look you gave me? What was you, what was that mischievous look? What did you do? Oh, I get it. I can't say what you're doing though. You told me to stop saying it. Yeah. Yeah. I have to ignore you now. I'm sorry. I have to ignore it. You're silly. Y'all don't ever, don't ever date a silly girl. Since when you have to verify your phone number on Discord, that's a security thing for some Discord servers. I enable it on, on ours because we have a public server. If that's a problem, it's, I, I apologize, but that's something that I have to do to avoid like spam bots and trolls and hate raids. We have had people hate raid in the past before. People are fucking cringe online. We gotta do some security measures. No, I wanna go into the hole of beasts. No! Break down the wall, guys! Hurry! Break it down! We gotta go quick! Boom, 100 Pikmin. Amazing. Yeah, let's go down the Bullbax Kingdom with three seconds to spare. Amazing. All right, 100 Pikmin into the Bullbax Kingdom. Here we go. Let's get squishing. Let's squish some babies. Yeah. Oh, God, he's awake. Holy shit, he heard that. Oh, God. Oh, I didn't think he'd hear it. I didn't think he'd hear. I'm sorry. Go back to bed. Ha! What an idiot. What an idiot. This guy's fucking stupid. This guy's a moron. Oh, God. Oh, God, he killed my babies. Oh, God, he's killing my babies. Oh, God, we lost three. What an idiot. Look at him running away. Like a moron. Alright, I'm gonna let him actually go back to bed this time, because he's kind of scary. He's kind of a scary guy. Yeah, these orange ones are a bit more, uh, they're like light sleepers. They'll wake up before you even approach them. There we go. Night, night, orange bullbox. They really said honk schnoo. Honk honk schnoo. What do we got? The lucky clover. The crystal clover. 
He does know it's a clover. Alright, we're three Pikmin down. So I was a little bit careless with the orange one. We were just a little careless. Surely this one will go better for us. Oh, we got spiders! People with arachnophobia, look away from the stream, because there's arachnids here. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, fuck me! Stop! Don't play a cutscene right now! I know they're on fire! I have eyes! Fuck! They're burning to death! Oh look, I saved them all. Man, people say Pikmin 2 is hard. This shit's easy. How the hell did I just save them all? All right, try this again. There we go. That's how you kill the spiders. You just get underneath them and throw your Pikmin. You don't gotta worry about what color Pikmin you're throwing. Any any color will do. Why did you go start throwing that blue Pikmin? Why? Oh, this is three? It takes three Pikmin to carry a spider back? What? What up, Space Cadet? What's up, Space Cadet? How you doing? I'm waiting to sell that spider before I go down. Every coin counts. You just ate too many strawberries? Nah, there's no such thing as too many strawberries. Eat them all. It's fruit. Fruit's healthy, therefore you can eat as much of it as you want. Uh-oh. Got these guys. Hate these guys. Take them down quick, Pikmin. Yeah, you're done. A foolish mistake trying to kill me, Mr. Blowhog. See, the problem with trying to kill me is that I'm actually the best gamer alive. And how do you kill the best gamer alive? Exactly, you fucking can't, see? Easy, just don't try to kill me, and then you'll win. Uh-oh. See, you fucked up again. You did that thing again where you try to kill me. I keep telling you, don't try to kill me. And what do you keep trying to do? You keep trying to kill me. And what happens? You keep dying. Y'all need to learn to stop trying to get me. It's not gonna... It's simply not gonna work. I'm too good at the game. I'm a master Pikmin player. Got a seashell. Seashell, seashells by the seashore. Say that five times fast.
We got Olimar Knight Shell. Man, you would name the shell after yourself, you narcissist. Oh, we missed one of the white Pikmin. Did we? Yeah, we missed one white Pikmin. I see him in there. That's fine, though, because he's a, he's a white Pikmin. They're fast on their own. They don't need the nectar. Oh my god, we almost got electrocuted. Yeah, electricity in this game is actually the only thing that's like a really big threat because Pikmin will instantly die upon electrocution in this game. They don't, uh, they don't like get stunned. Like in newer Pikmin games, they get like stunned and if you don't call them back fast enough, they'll die. In this game, they quite literally just get fucking zapped and it's hilarious. Also, there is a sparky bug standing right next to me. Oh god, he's charging it up. Oh god, he's charging it up! Oh, thank god. Thank god he wasn't going for anybody across the map. Get some purples. Get some purples. Now I got the power of the purple Pikmin. Watch what the purple Pikmin do to these stupid ass bugs. Get squashed, idiot. Golden Beetle! Yo, Golden Beetle, get him! He dropped an expensive rock. I was at a store the other day, it's called Earthbound, it's some like mall retail store that like sells like hippie shit. And they were charging like 20 bucks for a rock like this. And I, I don't get me wrong, it's, it's a really nice rock, like I, I like to have a rock like this. But I'll be fucking damned if I'm paying 20 bucks for a rock. You love Earthbound? I like them, they have some cool shit in that store, I, I do like the store a lot. But I ain't paying 20 bucks for a rock. I shrimply won't do it. Off of principle. A rock? That thing that came from the ground for free? Yeah, I ain't doing it. I don't care how pretty the rock is. It is still a rock. That's where you get your favorite clothes? Yeah, they have some really cool clothes. Yeah. They have some really cool, uh, really cool clothes. Solder's gotten incense since from them. Uh oh. Uh oh! Uh oh! 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 Shit! Whew! I am so glad they survived! Oh my god! He came out of nowhere! You can't just drop a frog on me, man! You gotta give a guy a warning before you drop a frog on him, man! Come on! What is this? Unknown merit. So apparently we've reached the point of the game where they're now gonna start throwing booby traps at us. <laughs> he said booby. Shut up. This is serious. This is no time for jokes. What's up, Cody? How you doing? 
Does Solder have any yummy smelling incense recommendations? Lavender and the one called money. That sounds like a fucking book title. <laughs> Honestly, guy, you should write you should write a novel. Make that the title. Lavender and the one called money. All right. What's going on, Amanda? How you doing? Welcome into the stream. Game's going good. We're chill. Oh, no, it's not. It's not going good. It's going bad. God damn, they're dropping bombs. What are they doing? Uh, what's the booby traps in this, man? Come on. It's not going good. No, never mind. It's not. <laughs> the timing on that. Holy shit. All right, because this one's doing a little bit of a silly bit and it's pranking our asses, we're gonna not like leave the Pikmin on their own. We're gonna kind of watch them. Take things one at a time here. Go a little bit more methodical because apparently you never know when a bomb's gonna get dropped. Like, yeah, there's another one. Gotta watch out for these bombs. Go on. Yep. Yeah, I fucking knew it. Yeah, I knew it. I got that gamer intuition. I already know. I can, I can smell a booby trap when I see one. You're not going to pull one over on me, Nintendo. I'm too good at video games. You think I fall for booby traps like that? Everyone says Pikmin is relaxing. I found the time-based game stressful. Yeah, we had the whole debate about it earlier. I like the time time limits and stuff like that, but I think it's fine if you don't like it. At the end of the day, it's all preferences. But I do like uh, I do like the time limits. What I don't like is bombs being dropped on my face. Anxious Sprout. Another good title for Pikmin games. An Anxious Sprouts. Watch this. These two babies don't know what's about to happen to them. Yeah. <laughs> Get fucking squished. Oh, don't worry. Don't worry. The mama's next. Don't worry. I would I would never leave a mother without her babies. I'll kill the mother too. It's the kind thing to do, chat. I'm very kind and humane when I kill these guys. I'ma head out. Alright, Kitsune. Catch you later, buddy. Have a good one. No! No! Purple Pikmin! No! No! What? Did they survive? Ah! Oh, thank God that my babies, they survived! Oh, thank God! Ah, this game is stressful! Who the fuck said Pikmin's a cozy game? There's nothing cozy about this! I'm stressed out, man! <laughs> 
Colossal Fossil. I gotta watch out for those booby traps. They're, they're still dropping them. I thought it was just that one floor we're getting booby traps. You gotta separate these guys. You guys are a little bit too close to this one. Here, let's kill Orange first. Wake him up. Let's tickle his nose, wake him up. Yeah, come on over here, buddy. Yeah, come on over here. Bye, Orange. Oh, no! The game burned during a cutscene! Stop! I don't care about this! Stop! My pick! are being burned i don't care about the eternal emerald eye they're on fire God. they put the cutscenes at the worst possible time i swear why in that precise moment they have to play that cutscene you could have waited two seconds How many reds do I have left, by the way? I only have 10 more reds left. No, nine, I got nine reds. Do I feel bad for the red Pikmin? They kind of get the short end of the stick. They're, they're the ones I always use for uh, purples and whites. It's cause reds are the best fighters. So I typically bring more reds than anybody else. Like I'll typically bring like 40 reds to like 20 of the other ones. And, uh, yeah, like, if I have more reds, it makes sense to convert those into the whites and purples. But kind of sucks for the red Pikmin. It's like, you have a bad deal for them. They're first to die, and they're first to get swapped out for a different Pikmin. The only people that say Pikmin is cozy, the people that never played it. Pikmin can be cozy. There are a lot of times where the game is very cute, and the Pikmin are doing cute things. It's a cute vibe. If we're just like, if we're just doing the Dandori battles, I think the Dandori battles and the Dandori challenges of Pikmin 4, stuff like that, that's cozy, that's cute. But then we play Pikmin 2, and they're dropping bombs from the ceiling. No, they're, it's not cozy no more. Final floor. Oh shit. Y'all you all re you guys ready for a blast from the past? Do y'all remember the Emperor Bulbax from Pikmin 1? AKA the final boss? Yeah, that's him in the background right there. We're gonna fight him again. Only this time we're using we're using uh Pikmin 2. Why were the yellow Pikmin participating in this? Look at him. Look at him lurking in the fucking ground like that. Like an absolute jackass. Here, eat a picture. Luckily for us, this is only a baby Emperor Bulbax. It's not a fully grown one. Uh oh. Oh, we lost one.
Bro's kind of like locking me in my spawn. Can you let me out there? Can I come out there and fight? Is that allowed, sir? Just to squeeze on past you. There we go. We're fighting now. Oh, he got some! Oh, he got my reds! Oh, the bastard! He got my reds! I guess I threw him too close to his lips. No! Not a purple one! The purples are so valuable! God, he's, he's slurping them up! No! He's like slurping them up! Can you stop? And he's drooling too! He's gross! This is a gross guy! Huh? Oh! Whoa! 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 Calm down! Calm down! Calm down! Stop running! That's what he wants! He's trying to create panic! Everybody remain calm! I am your fearless leader. I will get us through this with minimal casualties. I promise! Have faith in the system! There we go! Got him! See? I know what I'm doing, Pikmin! You don't gotta be afraid. I got you guys. We only lost like 10 of you. All right, I know that sounds bad when I say we only lost 10 of you. Every Pikmin's life is precious. Okay, we will have a funeral service for the 10 that we lost. And I got this robot toy as a prize. And Pikmin's a really weird game. Nah, this is a casual run, uh, Eros. Just a casual run. We're not doing any, ch any challenges today. Just a bit of a casual run. It's also going to be a bit of a shorter stream, too. We're ending around midnight sharp because I do have work in the morning tomorrow. What the tongue doing? Right? I mean, I'm just saying, Emperor Bulbax might be a hear me out. I'm just saying. Got that big old tongue. Got that <laughs> slurp tongue. I'm kidding, by the way. Don't fuck the Emperor Bulbax. That's an actual animal. Holy shit. Why did that guy just yell unacceptable in my ear? Hello? Unacceptable! I literally only have two red Pikmins left. I literally only have a few reds left. This is kind of stupid. If you want hype about Sonic 3 Shadow Casting, yeah. I'm excited for it. I think it's gonna be good. Alright, White Pikmin. It's your time to shine, y'all. Show us how fast you guys are bringing this treasure back. Show us how it's done, White Pikmin. Look at them go. They're zooming. Look at them go. Yeah, I'm excited for the uh, pick, uh, the Knuckle show. It's going to be pretty good. When do we get Zelda or Smash? If, I'm, if I ever play Smash Melee, it's going to be on one of those variety nights where I just play a bunch of different GameCube games. Uh, Wind Waker will do soon. I know I, I I have one Wind Waker video on the channel, um, and I never finished that that randomizer playthrough. We'll do some Zelda, some Wind Waker and stuff. I like Zelda games. But right now I'm in a Pikmin mood.
So that's what we're playing. We're playing Pikmin. We lost 16 brave Pikmin during the Bulbax Kingdom cave. Y'all, I like to take 16 seconds of silence here uh, to remember these 16 Pikmin. Can we all spam the rip emote in the chat? For 16 seconds. said moment of silence what the fuck is this saxophone seal on my screen twitch chat you know what we're doing it again because we don't have we can't get a moment of silence who did it space cadet mods ban space cadet this is supposed to be a moment of silence and you've made it whimsical how dare you And thank you for the sticker. I appreciate it. And Peachy, thank you for the sticker earlier, too. I also appreciate that. You did a sticker earlier, and I reacted to it, but I never said thank you. So I was too busy mourning the loss of my Pikmin. So once again, thank you very much. Appreciate you. And just like that, y'all, another day in the books completed. And I also got to take another piss, because I've been hydrating like crazy today. So I'll be right back.
Okay, gamers, I'm back, and I'm ready for some more Pikmin. Smash patties or thick patties? In the middle for me. I'm not a big, uh, I, I don't like smash burgers too much, and I also don't like really thick patties. I like in the middle. Carl Jr.'s Big Carl Burger? That is like the perfect thickness for a patty for me. All right, y'all, it is time to go to the perplexing pool. Are you guys ready to be perplexed? Erm, what the flip? I'm perplexed. What up, Hilda? It's all good. Better late than never. I thought I think you're late in the first place, because you don't have to be here the entire stream. You know that, right? All right, we got to build up our blue population, so I'm going to go ahead and separate. We got to build up our blue population. Let's get these guys to go. Let's kill this guy. This guy should give us lots of blue pickles. This guy's kind of a pushover, man. No defending yourself? No self-defense? Look, he even brought back that for the reds. Or for the yellows. How nice. Of course, I will be taking that for the blues, because fuck the yellow pick now. You think yellow Pikmin get rights in this stream? Out of your mind. Yellow Pikmin don't get shit. This chat was once a Sonic chat, now it's a food chat. When do we get a food channel, Dusk? Uh, fake fan, because I made one on Discord. Or did you mean a YouTube channel? No, I, I, wouldn't, I don't think I would do, ever do a cooking channel. I'm not opposed to doing more channels than just the two that I have. I'm I, I'm not opposed to doing like multiple channels down the road, but uh, let's take baby steps first. I think if I was gonna do another like a third channel, I'd probably do an Animal Crossing channel like I wanted to do a while ago. Aquatic mine. Let's take a dive in aquatic mine. Yo, it's Sonic Adventure Two, man. God damn, I can never escape Sonic Adventure, can I? I'm a Sonic Adventure YouTuber for life. Solder, Dusk is being mean to the Pikmin. How am I being mean to the Pikmin? Y'all just be making shit up now. What did I do that's mean to the Pikmin? Explain it to me. What specifically did I do that you are deeming mean to the Pikmin? Show your work. You're being mean to the yellows. Well, the yellow Pikmin fucking suck, so they don't get rights, actually. So I don't think it's very mean. Bring him back. 
bring him back to my base. So we may study his weapons. Well, if I knew he was going to get stunned, I would have thrown more Pikmin on him. I thought he was going to jump in the air. I'm growing EP. I'll catch you later, Dusk. All right, Shandre. I'll catch you later. You have a good night. Take care. Hasta la vista. And as always, stay epic, gamers. Bye-bye. See, you, you even you even get up. Bye-bye. Even though you're not here at the end of the stream. See? I'm, I'm, a, I'm a nice streamer. All right. Let's separate these guys. Yeah. Come on over here. Yeah. Yeah! Uh-oh. Lost one. Well, you know what they say, you can't crack an almond without fucking some eggs. Or whatever they say. Huh? <laughs> Is that not what they say? Is that is that not how the saying goes? I'm pretty sure that's how the saying goes. Ten out of ten. Couldn't have said it better. All right, now I got about a hundred blue pick, give or take. This isn't going to be exactly a hundred, but this is close enough. Erm, um, what are you doing to the eggs? Question mark. Question mark. Erm, this is not a certified epic gamer moment. Why are half my Pikmin leaves? I need flower Pikmin. Can I get some flower Pikmin? Dodge the frog. Yeah, dodge that frog. I guess not. Alright, while they're fighting that guy, Louie, you beat up this frog. Y'all, it is time for a 1v1 showdown. Louie versus Yellow Frog. Who wins the battle? Let's find out. Ooh, and Louie takes a hit. But he's back in it. I saw your message, Hilda. I'm sorry I didn't read it out loud, but uh, I, 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 I saw your message that Louie's your favorite. I think you're a psychopath for liking Louis, but I'm not gonna judge you. All right, you're, you know, even psychopaths deserve love. Ow! Yo, this fight can go either way, man. This is an exciting fight. Oh, my Pikmin are done. But I must finish my battle! I must finish what I set out to do! Got 
shot your ass. Yeah, you just got fucked by Louie. Where's the submerged castle? That's what I'm looking for right now. Where the fuck is the submerged castle? There it is. All the way in the corner. Air bounce hit ten times. Froggy is confused. Forget about the eggs. Just don't tell Eggman. This is the Sensor Spyro video all over again. We gotta do one of those for all of our other games. Worst Pikmin, but unnecessary censorships. Alrighty, gamers. It is time to jump into the submerged castle. Now, if it, let me ask you guys a question. If I wanted to be a fake gamer, because I know what happens here. I played Pikmin before. I, I know I know what happens if we wait for too long. If I wanted to be a fake gamer and fake a reaction so I can make a YouTube video, would y'all would y'all roast me in the comments of that video? Would you be like, Dusk, you're a fake gamer. You fake these reactions. Would you guys would you guys care if I if I fake reactions? Do it. All right, I'll be super serious. I'll fake my reactions once uh, the guy comes. Would that just be a pixelated video to censor the Pikmin? True, because they don't talk. Dude, the submerged castle is so creepy. You know it would be a really fun challenge for Pikmin 2? Can we beat Pikmin 2, but the Plasma Wraith is always chasing us? That would be a really fun video. Like, could, could we mod a Plasma Wraith? God. Like, could we mod in a Plasma Wraith into all the levels and have him, like, chase us always? That would actually, like, low-key be a really fun challenge. Oh, I f I'm so stupid. I'm- Oh my god! Guys, I'm sorry that was on me. Legit, that was a skill issue. I, I forgot I had to soak him in water first. I'm so sorry, Blue Pikmin. I am so sorry. Stone this guy. Kill him. Y'all know how I was just joking about faking reactions? That actually was not fake. I genuinely forgot that I'm supposed to do this first. That was like a genuine reaction. Whoops, my bad. I would never fake a moment just to get ratings. I know you won't and I feel like you're on the right path. Joke's on you, I fake all my reactions. Nah, I, I don't think it would sound good. I think it would sound it would sound too fake. I also do all my content live, so I really can't like cheat like that. Like I do all my content live, so y'all will like know like who watched the stream. Y'all be like, wait a minute, Dustin didn't react that way. There we go. No, stop drinking the nectar. This is not nectar time. You guys are being burned to death. This is not time to be eating. They're me for real. I know that nectar is delicious, but y'all.
Yeah, submerged castle is definitely a definitely a bit of a bitch, especially once the big guy comes. Which we've been kind of taking our time. We need to pick things up. <laughs> Extremely food motivated like us. He's me for real, for real. All right, Blue Pikmin, take this donut back to the base. Take this donut back to Mother Base. It would be a really funny fake clip, though, to be like, Okay, guys, I gotta do a quick BRB. I'll be right back. And then he comes and kills on my Pikmin, and I go, what the fuck happened? <laughs> you found a donut. A pastry wheel. Um, waiter? Uh, there's a fly in my pastry wheel? Wait, that's not where we're going. Do y'all want to wait for him? Let's wait for him. You know what? Let's not be rude. Let's not be rude. This is his home that we're invading. Let's wait for the plasma wraith. Alright guys, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go get a drink real quick, y'all. I'll be right back. Damn, that trick won't work because you have to press the A button to go through here. Alright, let me fake my reaction now. <gasps> What's this? Who's this guy? Hello? I've never seen this guy before. Whoa! What? Huh? No way! Wow! Do I sound for real? Do I sound like a super serial guy? Where is he, by the way? We do gotta keep an eye on him. I hear him over here. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's coming. Oh, oh, Blue Pikmin, let's go. Come on. Everybody out of the way. Come on, we gotta move. Everybody make a single file line to the exit. We gotta go. Oh God, break the fire. Break the fire trap, go break it. We gotta go. Wait, hang on, where is he? Let's let him get a little closer. We we can make him make him get closer for a more dramatic exit. Let's make this more dramatic. Of course, now he's gonna be a fucking idiot. Just drive around my spawn like a fat ass. All right, never mind. No drama. No drama. Why is the game sound depressing? Th this cave is supposed to sound creepy, is what they're going for. It's supposed to be very, like, scary. This is the submerged castle. It's, like, known as, like, the, like, scariest, like, dungeon in Pikmin 2. The gimmick is if you spend too much time on any of the floors, that Plasma Wraith monster will spawn and start chasing you down. And, uh, he cannot be killed. Um, at least not right now. We don't, we don't get to kill him until the very final floor. So, if he starts chasing us during the, during the gameplay, then... Kind of cook. Although you know what? Submerged castle, but we let the plasma wraith spawn before we start playing would actually be a very fun video. Y'all, low key, that would be a really fun video. It's too late now because we already started we already started in the game save. But uh for future, that's a really fun video idea. Submerged castle. 
but we wait for the plasma rate to spawn before we start moving. Or we find a mod that allows us to uh, uh, simply have them spawn immediately. Resident Evil wishes it could have the ambiance of Pikmin's submerged castle. No, for real, why is it that sometimes games that are trying to be horror games end up not being scary? Oh god! Aw, oh, we lost a Pikmin. I didn't see this guy. I'm sorry. I feel bad. My negligence cost the life of a Pikmin. See, now that's scary. That's horror game right there. Actually, let's not separate. Let's not separate our groups here. We should all stay together. That's actually valid. Yeah, so I, yeah, I think, uh, Dragoon, I was literally about to say that. I think when you're playing a horror game, you're expecting horror. So, like, you're already kind of on edge, right? Like, obviously, like, we know it's fake. We're playing, we, we want to be scared. That's the whole fun of it. But, like, I feel like there is, like, that, like, chip on your shoulder when you're expecting a horror game and you're critiquing it like a horror game. When you're playing a game that's not supposed to be scary and there's a scary part, that's like, okay, hang on. I'm not expecting that. I wasn't trying to be scared today. What the hell's going on? Erm, um, what the flip? Y'all, what would you guys do if your pipe stopped working? So you call a plumber, and he goes, I don't know how to tell you this, but there's like two little men with flower monsters, and they're just like walking around there picking up donuts. What would y'all do? How would you react to that information? Just be picking up donuts. What are they doing? Right now. Let's see what's going around. I literally just lost three Pikmin. Holy shit. Come on. I lost three Pikmin to this fucking guy? Not again. Alright, we now have the Bulbmen. Bulbmen are wildcard Pikmin. And they're, they're like bulb orbs. We just killed their mom and they're very thankful because they fucking hated her. They don't- she never let them stay up past their bedtime, so... To thank us for killing her mom, they're gonna do our dirty work for us. And the fun thing about the uh, Bulbmen is that they're wildcard Pikmin. They're immune to everything. They're immune to fire, water, lightning. Literally nothing affects these guys. There's still more treasure to be found here? What the fuck? Erm, um, what the flip? I thought I found all the treasure. Oh, there we go. They got it. It's a little cookie. They're bringing back a cookie. Comfort cookie? Yo, this is the comfort cookie? I like comfort cookies. That's accurate, too. There was one time uh, I was... Uh, in the airport, uh, waiting for like a, a layover flight when I went to go uh, see Solder for like the first time. This is back when we were like super long distance. Like, so I was like flying for like 11 hours to go see her. And uh, I remember sitting in the, uh, the little airport lounge because my dad's like, oh yeah, I have that credit card that you get into the Hilton lounge. And um, 
I just sat in there for like an hour eating those cookies. Those real generic fucking grandma cookies. Oh, oh, fuck me. Oh, shit. All right. We're going the wrong way, y'all. Let's go, everybody. No tripping. Yo, if you trip, I'm leaving you behind. This is not time to be tripping. Let's go, everybody. Chop, chop. The guy's trying to kill us. We gotta go. Is it not bad enough that this guy chases us, but they also spawn him directly where we were? That's also insult to injury. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. So now we got the bulb men. We can use them to do the uh, the lightning. In my opinion, though, I feel like like they're cute. Don't get me wrong. I love the addition of the bulb men in the game, but I feel like for submerged castle, like it kind of makes it easier. Like I think the whole the whole gimmick should be. Oh well, there we go. He's fucking zapped. The whole gimmick should be like you have to do it with the blue Pikmin and time it, because you can break these with blue Pikmin and not have them die if you just time it correctly. Oh god, there's a frog down there. Oh, thank god there's an invisible wall protecting me. Yeah, you want to jump in here so bad. Oh, but you can't. Oh, look at this stupid ass frog. Yeah, oh, you want to get in here? Too bad there's an invisible wall you can't jump over. Yeah, you're stupid. Oh, look, I'm going to leave my Pikmin unattended. Look, I'm going to leave them unattended so I can walk around there and taunt your ass a little bit. Yeah, you can't get him, can you, idiot? You know what? I'm gonna slap you in the- Oh, God. I'm gonna slap you in the face, because you're stupid. Yeah, you're kind of dumb. It would have been really funny if he actually made it over the wall somehow and killed them. That actually would have been really funny. I don't think those suing tin cookies are bad for your teeth, though. You're probably fine to have those. Oh god, he wants revenge. Froggy's dead. Froggy, is that you? Oh! Look at this fucking character. Another one of these things. All right, blue Pikmin, lock on target. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait. Fire! Fire the blue Pikmin! Yeah, you're dead. And I stole your babies. Let's go. Careful, wasting time. I'm not wasting time, I'm collecting valuable loot, all right? I want all the loot, including the enemies. I don't care if they're worth like two coins each, all right? That's two coins more than I have. We're in debt right now, man. We can't be, we can't be picky, all right? Our company's in debt. We literally cannot afford to be picky. We gotta take whatever we can get. Oh, wait a minute, that's a zappy bug. Hang on, that's a zappy bug. Maybe we do want to take this one a little bit, a little bit more careful.
Oh, all right. Well, that's fine. A blue got zapped. You know what? Once in a while, a blue gets zapped. You know what they say, if you want to crack an omelet, you gotta get pegged. <laughs> I'm just saying random shit now, just to fucking get shock value reactions. <laughs> what have I- what have I resorted to as a streamer, man? Now I'd just be saying anything. Oh, that's Captain Juice, hang on. Hang on, y'all, that's some Captain Juice. Ow, jump scare. I want you to only say that saying wrong from now on. That's the new bit. Oh, fuck me. Bro, I just got here, man. Come on. I haven't even cleared all the sparkies yet. And this guy's already here? Pissing me off? All right, kill the bugs fast. All right, guys, break down this wall quick. Break down the wall. I don't even know where he is. That's the scariest thing. I only hear him. Oh God, no! What is, what is this guy? Kill him! I don't know what he does, but kill him! Kill him! Fuck him! I don't care! Sorry, I'm sorry. You might have been nice. He might have been a friend, but I don't know. We gotta kill. We gotta go, all right? We're getting chased by the water monster. We can't take no chances. I'm sorry. He might have been evil. Bro just came by to say hi. He's just like, bro just came by to say hello. Oh God, that's Sparky Bug. Sparky Bug, Sparky Bug, watch out. Come on, I want this cookie, man! Get this fucking cookie! Alright, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try to kill this guy fast. No! No! Okay. Oh! Oh my god! Ah! I just lost so many! God, all of this for a cookie! How many Pikmin is it gonna take to get a goddamn cookie out of this guy? Kill the fucking Sparky Bug, please! Just get rid of him! He doesn't even want to eat the cookie. He just want he wants just to have it. He doesn't even know why he wants it. He just knows that we want it. And that's enough for him. What a dick. Kill him. Thank you, God. 40 Pikmin like had to die for this cookie. Thank God the water wraith didn't like catch up to us during this cuz my god. Oh, there's another stupid spider! No! There's another fucking spider! Kill him quick! Kill him quick! Alright, thank god he died. I don't know where the water wraith is. He's, he's glitched or something, I don't know. He hasn't shown up yet. I mean, I hear him. No, he's shown up. I hear him. But he hasn't, like, crossed our path yet. I'd rather restart at this point. No, Hildo, we don't do that. That's some fake gamer shit, alright? We lost those Pikmin. We have to deal with the consequences, Hilda, alright? Somebody call Resetti on Hilda. 
compelling cookie. This shit was worth 10 coins? I lost more Pikmin than the value of this cookie. Are you shitting me? Yo, no way I lost that many Pikmin for a cookie that's worth 10 coins! Oh god, there's still more treasure too. I'm not even done. Okay, I do I see the water wraith. He's back there. I see him. Maybe this maze is just kind of confusing for him. Maybe he's just lost. He's just trying to figure out his way. We'll take those. Oh, I'll talk booby traps in this. Okay, that's more Captain Juice. Am I clear? Am I clear to get this Captain Juice? Welcome back to hell, my friend. To be fair, that cookie probably had all types of Pikmin bits in it, right? Alright, bring this cookie back. Luckily, no Pikmin had to die for this cookie. Oh, I hear him. Oh, hang on, y'all. Hang on. Okay, I see him over there. Is that our path? Is he, is he on our path? Oh, yeah, he is. Alright, guys. Hold on, hold on, hold on, y'all. Watch out, y'all. Watch out. Okay, he went left for some reason. He didn't. He's not going the right way. All right, keep it going. Coast is clear, little Pikmin. Keep it going. Oh, he did a U-turn. He did a U-turn. Watch out, guys. He did a U-turn. He's coming back. Okay, he's going the long way again. All right, good. This guy's not a good driver. He's kind of just... Does, does he follow you, or is he just doing a random thing? I, don't, I, can't, I can't really tell. Oh, God, he came back. He's, doubling, he's doubling back. He's doubling back. Watch out. He's doubling back. Okay, now... I, okay, no, he is for sure following us. He was just being a little stupid earlier, but he is for sure following us. Okay. Bring back the cookie, please. Name? Succulent Mattress? Yo, he's succulent? sada has been calling me succulent all day. Oh, god damn it. There's still more treasure. Oh, no. All right. It's not over yet, y'all. We still have treasure, and I'm not leaving without it. I'm not leaving without my loot! Oh boy, there's a white Pikmin flower here. Oh god. Get in the corner, get in the corner, get in the corner, get in the corner. We're safe. Are we safe in the corner? Are we safe in the corner? Is it like an elephant? Can he not get us in the corner? I don't know. God, he's got us pinned down! Wait, he's got us pinned in the corner! Oh no! <laughs> what do I do? He's doing donuts! <laughs> Alright, go, okay. go. Go 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 run run Pikmin run no don't get no don't get left okay he's left behind y'all we can't go back from I'm sorry we can't go back from him all right I'm sorry he skill issue he didn't keep up it's the survival of the fittest all right I'm sorry oh god this is a corner oh oh god do not lock me in here oh god that's a that is a whole ass dead end we're fucked if we go back there. I mean, yeah, we'll come back for him. Yeah, no, no, no Pikmin left behind, y'all. We came back for him. See, I had a plan. I totally had a plan to come back for this guy. I wasn't gonna just leave him behind. I'm not a monster. 
Okay, we gotta kill this guy. This guy has treasure. This guy has treasure. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him for his loot. Omar, stay by the exit in case things get really rough. I just want to leave immediately. I'll keep him by the exit with only a few Pikmin, so he shouldn't like have a problem with the water rate. In fact, he might attract the water rate. That might be like a smart play. I do see a white flower here, and I think I might need white Pikmin for the next uh, floor, so we should probably get those white Pikmin. Watch out, guys. Watch out. He's coming. He's coming. Watch out. Oh, watch out. I'm going to trick him. Watch this. I'm going to fucking bamboozle him. Yeah, idiot. Yeah, you thought I was going that way? No, I'm going this way. Get bamboozled, idiot. And now we're home free to take this M&M jar or whatever the hell this is. I don't know. Oh no, it's a it's a the tennis ball company. It's like the lid of a tennis ball jar or tube. They come in tubes. Activity arouser. Yo, I don't like that name. That's like a sex toy name. I don't, I don't like that. Alma, are you good? All right, you're good. All right, so we just gotta get uh, we gotta get five white Pikmin, and then we gotta dip out. So I'm like pretty sure we're gonna need these white Pikmin. Activity arouser is crazy. <laughs> All right, we're out. We outie. Let's go. You're saying tennis is now sexy. Picture of Dusk got all of his Pikmin swiped off him like he got his cart. <laughs> my, my Kirby carts fucking carjacked. Dude, that was funny, man. I got carjacked for real. That was so funny. Oh god. So, uh, guys, we got we got company, y'all. We're getting spawn camps by people. Oh god, there's a bomb! Oh shit! Watch out! Pick me run! There's a bomb! Oh, okay, well. How the fuck did they survive? Hello? Are they bomb proof too? No way they're bomb proof. I think they survived because they weren't my Pikmin. They were the enemy's Pikmin until the enemy died. That's why they scattered just now. I think that we I think we won that one off a of technicality. There's no way that these guys are bomb proof. But hey, you know what? We'll take that. We'll take technicality wins. I'm desperate enough. I hear another one too. There's another one. Oh god, more bomb rocks. Do they love the bomb spiders in this floor? Now I got 70 Pikmin. Our army grows each day. Okay, that's a whole ass bomb. 
Maybe they are bomb proof. I don't know. We gotta test one for science. Next time I see a bomb, I'm gonna throw one of these bull Pikmin. And we're gonna see if they're bomb proof. I don't think any Pikmin in Pikmin 2 is bomb proof, though. That's like a whole new thing. I got a nectar. All right, we got some flower Pikmin now. In a bit of a better spot, I think. Boy, one of those flying bomb enemies just spawned. All right, y'all, we're gonna test this for science. Are they bomb proof? You stay there and find out. They are not bomb proof, y'all. <laughs> they are definitely not bomb proof. <laughs> there we go, we gotta kill this guy before he starts throwing bombs. need our blues and bulbmans because the whites can't go in the water. I'm sure we need them for something though. I'm sure the white pigment are needed for like a, a project. Matter of fact, might be smart to figure out what that project is. I'm sure something's buried underground. We gotta find out where. Right about here. Yeah, we got, we got buried treasure I think. Oh no, that's not buried. It's right there. Well, it's a good thing I'm also activating all these traps. <laughs> Next time on Mythbusters, can Red Pikmin swim? Top 10 Pikmin betrayals. <laughs> that Pikmin was so confused <laughs> and betrayed. Listen, all right, he, he died for, for knowledge. The knowledge that we now have will save many a Pikmin later. So he died for a very good reason. He didn't just die for nothing, y'all. Oh, fuck me. He's already back. Oh my god, what the hell? All right, I'm just gonna get the hell out of here. There's nothing but bombs over there. I didn't even see any treasure. No treasure was detected, so. Oh, God. Where do I go? Is he in here? Is he in this tube? Oh, he's like stuck in it. Yeah, he's trying! Oh god, he's trying to get inside there! Okay, get in! Get in, everybody! Get in! Get in, everybody! Two Pikmin didn't make it! Two Pikmin didn't make it! And this golden beetle has treasure! No, bring him back! Bring him back! He has treasure! Golden beetle, come back! You have treasure! Oh, thank God he dropped the treasure by my ship. Amazing. Might want to leave before he shows up again. Now we're getting the treasure. I'm not leaving my treasure behind. That's the whole reason why we're here. I am not leaving my treasure behind. Those 40 Pikmin did not die just for us not to get all the treasure.
Listen, we're good. We got this. I believe. First thing we gotta do is uh, separate the the five uh, white pigment that we have, though. I think they're safe in a corner, so I'm going to put them in this corner. Where I believe them to be safe. If they are not safe here and they die, then I apologize profusely. But the white pigment are a liability, because they can't swim. So we're gonna leave them there. Where I'm hoping they're safe. And we gotta go find the last treasure. Bamboozle him. Watch out for the falling bombs that are everywhere. We do also have to break this wall to get to the exit, so get that going. Will he follow me? If I can I lead him away? No, he's going for the Pikmin. He's not going for me. Oh, watch out. Oh shit! Oh! Alright! Barely dodged that. All right. Good to know. He's going after the Pikmin. Not, he's not going after me. That was so close, though. Oh, my God. Five Pikmin. I think I need to head him off. I don't, know, I don't know where he is. Oh, he's probably going after these guys. No, they're safe. Okay, here he comes. I see him. Maybe if I stand in this corner, he gets confused. No, I think he's just kind of stuck in the geometry back there. I see him trying to, like, drive over something. Deviled ham? Devil, oh, deviled ham spread. It's a ham sp What the fuck is a ham spread? Don't ever put that on anything that's not ham. You, you try putting that on chicken, and they'll kill you. All right, we got all the treasure. We're good. Treasure acquired. Let's get the hell out of here. I never saw a ham spread IRL before. Well, now you have. Well, not IRL, but you, you've now seen a ham spread. All right, y'all. Final floor. We're done. Now it is time to turn and fight this guy. And we're going to use our bulb Pikmin this time because these guys don't come back to the surface with us. So we either use them or lose them. And I'm choosing use them. <laughs> Ask Kermit. <laughs> Ayo. Yeah, I don't know why they gave us a white flower. I'm not entirely sure about that. Maybe it's possible to have buried treasure because the uh, the places are randomly generated. So it's possible that maybe one of the spots could have been underground and we just got lucky and we, we dodged it. I'm not entirely sure. I remember when I was a kid, by the way, uh, and I came to this dungeon... Um, I lost so many Pikmin. I think I had like like three Pikmin left. And I didn't want to lose my treasure by like... Because you, you can like save and quit. And I didn't want to like lose my, my treasure. 
And so I had to sit here and break the wall down. I, th I think it was I think it was one Pikmin actually, because I remember being taking longer than that. These walls are really weak, probably because they know people are going to struggle with this one. Got the nectar. We got 69 Pikmin, a very funny number. All right, y'all. It is time to fight this guy. Matter of fact, I'm going to juice up my Pikmin for this one. Let's give them some Pikmin steroids so they can really go to town on this guy. Yeah, go ahead and give them their Pikmin catnip. Oh god, he's not dead yet. Oh god, he's running. Look at him run! Look at him cowering for his fucking life! Look at him! He's like literally in the- he, He's in the position you're supposed to get in when someone's beating the shit out of you! Oh my god! Am I supposed to feel bad for this guy? He- He fucking tormented me for an hour! Am I supposed to feel guilty right now? Bro's literally hunched over begging for his life! Let me, uh, let me regroup real quick. And now he's just casually stro- Now he was- what, no, don't- don't start running now! I saw you casually strolling! Bro's trying to- <laughs> Bro's trying to walk by like nothing happened! Look at him up there! Bro's trying to be like, oh, this guy? Yeah, I think I saw him go that way. All he's missing is a fake mustache glasses comedy thing. You know, the, the glasses with the fake mustache? That's all he's missing. Why don't you go in the corner again so I can get your ass? There we go. You're dead. Goodbye. Alrighty, so we beat the Plasma Wraith, and we got the Foghorn, whatever the hell this thing's called. Bro's preparing to doctor the footage and report you. <laughs> Professional noisemaker. Hey, that's me for real! Yo, that's me, professional noisemaker. <laughs> How insulting. This object's coloring is more eye-catching than my own hull. Oh, the pluck -a phone Let's go, y'all. Y'all, we just got the pluck -a phone That allows us to pluck Pikmin without having to uh, dig them up. It's amazing. Unfortunately, the bold Pikmin do not come with us. Very sad. They'd be a little bit too broken if they came with us, though. Cave complete! But at what cost? We lost 55 Pikmin! Y'all, 55 Pikmin! Oh my god, they all died to a bug! 
to a sparky bug in the attempt to get a compelling cookie for 10 coins. We made more money on the creatures than we did on the compelling cookie. And the one I sacrificed, yes. 50, sorry, 54 Pikmin lost to the Sparky Bug, and then one Pikmin that I deliberately blew up to see if it would survive a bomb. It did not, for those wondering. Fifty percent of debt recovered. Oh man, what a rough day, y'all. What a rough day for our Pikmin. Oh, and that was all of our blue Pikmin. We're down to 43. No, 38. Excuse me. We're down to 38 Pikmin. So we're going to have to start repopulating the Pikmin economy. And I think I have some enemies here to do that. No, they're, they they despawn. All right, we'll spend the rest of this day trying to get one of these uh one of these treasure ships, these treasure parts, whatever sort of they're called. Probably do more white paper than that, actually. We, we, we can afford to do a few more white paper. You know what? Let me, uh... There we go. Let me juice him up real quick. Give him a little incentive. Now, now I got him hooked on the stuff. They don't want to work effectively unless I give them their crack. First one was free. Next one's gonna charge you. Uh, it's gonna cost y'all. Ah, oh, they ran out of their juice. Well, I'm not spending two more on this wall. No way. If we don't get it today, we don't get it today. We're just going to watch them. I know this isn't very good Dandori, but listen, I, 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 I spent a lot of spoons in that fucking dungeon, all right? I need an easy day. I wish I could tell you how happy I am to get out of that dungeon. That dungeon's fun. I honestly, I, I want to find a mod. I wonder if there's a mod that we can do that puts the plasma rate in every dungeon. That would be really fun for a, a challenge video. Pikmin 2, but every every cave has Plasma Wraith. Yeah, we're not going to get this, uh, this last treasure piece, I don't think. We're not going to get this. It's fine, though. We'll at least break down the wall. Breaking down the walls enough. Let me uh, recall my white Pikmin. I'm not gonna need them. Come on, guys. Break down the wall. At least get the wall broken. I spent the I spent the spicy spray on this. I gonna get it. Lazy ass Pikmin. I see how it is. I don't give you another spicy spray, so you don't break down the wall. 
Yesterday, Kirby Air Ride. Today, Pikmin 2. You are literally playing my childhood. Yeah, Spunknik, I've been on a bit of a, of a GameCube kick. We're doing a lot of GameCube games. I did Luigi's Mansion a couple weeks ago. Pikmin 1, Pikmin 2, Kirby Air Ride, Mario Kart Double Dash, Mario Party 7. I'm playing a lot of GameCube games right now. I'm in a bit of a GameCube kick. Unfortunately, that is our last day. I am going to wrap up the stream here. So, Spudnik, I am so sorry that you just tuned in, but I'm literally about to go offline. I apologize so much. You missed the Submerged Castle, man. Submerged Castle took everything I got. We somehow still gained Pikmin for the day. Let's check out our deaths. 46 Pikmin lost to electricity. That one fucking bug got us for 46. No way. For 46 Pikmin, this guy got us. You have to work? Lame. I do got work tomorrow morning. I do want to set some stuff up for the Sea of Thieves stream tomorrow. I'm going to be streaming Sea of Thieves tomorrow and Saturday because it's double XP weekend. So for the next two days, we'll be playing some Sea of Thieves. I know I just made a Sea of Thieves YouTube channel, but we're still doing streams on this channel, at least for this month. And then next month, I might start streaming on that channel. Um... But tomorrow and Saturday, we will be playing some Sea of Thieves for the double gold weekend. For Amazon? Yeah, I'll be doing Amazon tomorrow. I've been doing a lot of Amazon lately. Uh, Grubhub's been kind of sucking ass, so I've been just transitioning to doing Amazon shifts. Amazon sucks because it's more physically demanding. Like, I'm lifting boxes and going up a million flights of stairs. It's more physically exhausting, but you get the work done faster, and, like, you make more money than you do with Grubhub. So I'm not, I'm not upset to be doing Amazon, but, ugh, it does suck, like, having, like... Grubhub's easy, man. Like, any any DoorDash or Grubhub driver who complains about their job being hard, like, kill them. Because Grubhub and DoorDash are the easiest fucking things in the world. There is, like, no physical labor outside of maybe walking up, like, a, a couple flights of stairs at an apartment complex. Amazon Flex is where is where the labor is. And even that's nothing compared to working for Amazon like in the warehouse. That's even worse. So let me knock let me not knock on wood, you know. Night everybody. Yeah, good night guys. We're going to, we'll go ahead and wrap up things here. Y'all, it was a really fun stream and we might make this into a video. I think it'll be all those chaotic moments could be a fun compilation video. So perhaps a Pikmin video will be made soon ish, perhaps. Uh, I'm excited for tomorrow for some Sea of Thieves, and yeah, should be a, should be a good time. I think should be a good time. Just a real quick reminder, by the way, uh, for everybody on, on the YouTube chat, um, I did make a, a second channel, by the way, for Sea of Thieves. I'm gonna put a link in the chat right now for you guys. If anybody has not followed the channel yet, feel free to go ahead and do so. Let me uh, get the link real quick for you. That should be the right link. Hopefully, I typed that correct. If you guys like Sea of Thieves, go ahead and subscribe to that channel. That's my brother's, my, my identical twin brother's channel. Go subscribe to him if only if you like Sea of Thieves. If you don't like Sea of Thieves, then stay on this channel. Make shorts. Oh, I'll, I'll, be, I'll definitely make some shorts, yeah, for sure. Alrighty, gamers. Well, I'm going to go ahead and get the hell out of here. Y'all have a wonderful night. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you. Oh, Hilda, did you not see it? Hang on, let me get you the link to Hilda for you, if, if, if you didn't know. I assumed everybody on Twitch knew. Let me uh, get you the link if you want the link to my my br twin brother's YouTube channel. My twin brother, Epic Dawn. Good night, guys. I hope you eat Pikmin tacos. I will eat several Pikmin tacos. And thank you very much for hanging out, boyo. Appreciate you guys. Appreciate y'all for hanging out. Appreciate the new members and the people who get the memberships and y'all on Twitch who subbed and uh, did the stickers and stuff. Appreciate y'all. You guys are awesome peeps. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for another Epic Dusk live stream. Have a good night, gamers. And as always, stay epic, gamers. Bye-bye.